Hello, everybody. It is nice to see you, sweet souls. How is everybody doing today? Hello to my beautiful Diane. Hello to my dear Sean. Hello to Lilith. I don't quite see Hanson yet. Hello to my beautiful Sierra. It's lovely seeing you. Hello to Mizrak. Hello to um, our dear friend Jasmine, sweetie. Hello to DM. It is nice to see all of you beautiful souls. So Jasmine, I did receive your email, my love. I'm going to start off with Jasmine. I'm going to go and see DM. Hold on, I think I'm going to sneeze, but maybe not. I think it went away. Um, so I'm going to be with Jasmine. I'm going to be with DM. I'm going to go and see MZ. I'm also going to go and see our beautiful Gypsy. And I'm going to log in to see if there's um, anybody else who is onto the list at this moment. So just one brief second. How was everybody's day today? Please do let me know. Um, okay, hold on. I've got Mimi, I've got Sierra, I've got Patricia. You guys have been busy over here. So, I've got Mimi, I've got Patricia, um, and I have our beautiful Sierra who just donated. All right, love. So, I'm going to be with you guys shortly. The list at this moment is Jasmine, DM, MZ, Gypsy, Mimi, Patricia, and Sierra. You do not have to write that, my beautiful Lilith. I know that Watson is not yet here, so um, it's all right, sweetie. I'm going to go and open a love box number five, and we're going to go and see what we have going on over there. And then I'm going to start off. Do we have our beautiful Jasmine with us? I am good, my love. How are you doing, sweetie pie? Ah, um, mais vous êtes vraiment très gentil, ma belle Lilith, mais I didn't even get one sneeze. <laughs> it decided it was leaving, and that's okay. You know that's just a good sign. Um, okay, let's go like this. Let's, uh, boo, yeah, that sounds pretty much right. And, well, here we go for it. All right. So, love box number five is now open. Hello, Jasmine, sweetie. All right, sweet love. Um, I took it a little bit in advance because I did not quite know if you were going to be asking questions about it or if I was going to be replying by email, but I saw that I'm actually answering questions. So, uh, right before I pressed to go live, I did go out and, and check what's going on. So... Um, we're going to go look at this right away, okay? I'm going to start with your question number one, my love. It is nice to see you. I want to start on off by giving you the biggest hugs into the world because you need them and everybody needs hugs. But at this moment in time, I believe that you do need them. So they are sent on out towards you. Hello, my beautiful little love. Um, so voila, Jasmine, yes. It's a person. It, oh, I guess that's what it is. I'll take it. <laughs> um. All right. Oh, there's Watson. Hi, sweetie pie. Hello, my little Casper. You love hugs too, don't you, Sierra? All right. I'm sending you a whole bunch of lugs to my beautiful lugs. Um. <laughs> I'm always combining words like that. Yeah, a lug is, is a hug with love. Sending you many, many beautiful hugs too. I have to say my beautiful Sierra, on everything kind of apart, I believe hugs is like one of my favorite things because you can hug a friend, you can hug a lug, lover, you can hug a family, but there's so many emotions that go through them. They're beautiful. So, yes. All right, Jasmine, here we go, sweetie. So, hugs sent on out to you, our beautiful Sierra and Jasmine. Um, what do we have? Um, I'm going to go back into the email over here. Okay, question number one. I get the whole thing. I, I completely do. And I completely get also that, yes, you should not return and go and see that person again. But they don't deserve you, sweetie. They just don't. Um, Honestly, I feel as though they have, well, they have done you wrong. It is very, very, very unprofessional. Nonetheless, this is even the second time that it happens to you. I mean, I can understand. Sometimes in life, it happens. Things happen. I get it. 
but even when things happen, mm, yes. Anyways, point being, different perspectives, different people altogether. Uh, but does this person deserve your time? Does this person deserve even perhaps your money? You must have paid for this, right? Um, does this person deserve or are they actually even good on giving you that type of advice and what's going to be happening with that, right? I'm going to say no, no, they're really not the best person altogether to be giving you this advice. Now, that being said, I completely understand the whole principle. The principle of it is good. It is. Um, you've got an issue, you've got a problem, what do you do? You talk, but you have to do the same thing in friendships, you have to do the same thing in family, you gotta do the same thing in love. The difference is with love is that, um, yes, you need to have communication, but you also need to have other things that kind of come on in, all right? So you also need to have, um, you need to have the loving aspect, you need to have the bonding aspect, so like let's say socks, um, you need to have like different little aspects that make it a whole. If you just talk, mm, yeah. That being said, my love, what should you actually be doing with this and how should everything be happening? Honestly, it's entirely up to you. This is not a loving type of a, of a, of a relationship, but I believe that you do need some type of a little bit of a closure towards it. So I would actually um, reach on out towards her, maybe by message, maybe by phone, maybe however it is that you feel is appropriate and good for you that you're actually going to be able to express yourself into the best ways. That's what I would do. I would contact and I would say, um, you know, everything that you have told me, so I don't necessarily relate it, say exactly what has happened and how everything is moving on forward. And that's what you've got to do. All right. Um, nothing much more. Okay, my sweetie pie. So after you actually do that, after you actually, um, All righty. Um, hold on just one second, guys. I'm going to shut off the short speed in just one moment, okay? I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to come on back, guys. Hold on. Mm. I'm going to finish up with Jasmine's reading, and then I'm going to put you guys on pause for a moment uh, because apparently my little girl has hurt herself. She fell off of... Uh, at and I don't know. I think she's bleeding, so I have to go and see. Um, so that being said, my love, what I'm going to say for you over here is the following. I feel as though you have to tell this person what was going on. You have to tell this person how things are going. You have to also tell them why you're no longer going to be following on through with them. They talk about communication and this is what they want. This is what they want to give on out. But if they're not doing anything and they're not moving towards it, there's really not all that much that you can possibly do, right? So this is it. I'm basically going to say over here for you the following. You need to openly communicate how you feel and why you're feeling this way and why you're not returning. Even if the other person is going to try because that's what they do, talk, right? They're going to try to make things better. They're going to try to maybe make it a little bit more relatable and do a lot of things. It remains that you have been hurt. You have been disappointed. It remains that this is no longer a person that you can rely on to actually give you the type of information that you're looking for. So if you're feeling up to it, I feel like it could be important to actually have that actual communication altogether. And question number two, my love. Yes, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's no way. There's no way, my love, of actually moving on forward without actually having to worry. There's no, there's no way. Life is full of worries. Life is full of anxiousness. Life is full of, you know, the whole variety of emotions that go along with it. But it's really, really important to... I'm going to say to figure out how you're feeling, to figure out how things are moving on forward and what is good for you and what is not. Um, the fact is that into the past, a lot of what has happened within your relationships have been past relationships that were already toxic to begin with. Um, the fact is that you have wanted a lot of things but have not necessarily communicated it. And sometimes you communicated it, but the basis of the relationship started off onto the back track. 
because we were not ready. We were not open. The other person was not ready. The other person was not open. The other person was not looking towards the same thing as you. But you were kind of hoping that with time, maybe they would kind of turn around. So I'm going to say it's important to start off into the same basis. Don't believe that you can change somebody. Mm -mm. And don't go into a relationship with somebody else or somebody who really just does not know what they want. And that's how you're going to be able to move on forward and truly be with somebody who does care, who does want you, and who's not going to play any games with you. And that should be solving that. You say question three, given the situation, uh -huh. Honestly, that's just going to be, I'm going to say confirmation of what the doctors are going to be saying to you. And then I'm actually going to have to say also, it's probably... If you're able to get some type of, I'm going to say, um, counseling or therapy or some type of help into that kind of a way, that could be good too. I feel as though mentally speaking, you're blocking yourself off. Emotionally speaking, you're blocking yourself off and you're starting to see some of these repercussions, but you're starting to see them actually physically. So you do have to be careful with that also. I know that you're going to be absolutely fine. I don't have any problems with that. At this moment, you're feeling stuck in your life, but you're feeling stuck in a lot of different kind of spheres. You're going to have to release that. But once you know and you actually get the outcome coming from doctors saying that you're okay, that's when you know that you're going to have to go get help, but elsewhere to give you those techniques so you're not as stressed or you're not as anxious and you move on forward with this. All right. And it is my pleasure, my beautiful. By the way, if there is anything else that you do want to say to me that we're not necessarily talking about here or anything that pops on up because we are talking anything whatsoever, just let me know. And um, well, you know where my email is, right? Okay, hold on. Um, what's happening into the month of May? I'm still getting blocked. You still have challenges. You're still a little bit blocked by different type of obstacles that are along the way. Getting our four of cups. You feel as though you keep missing all different kind of opportunities. And this is it. You're feeling like the tower. A lot of bad things are happening. I feel like you're a little bit putting yourself into that victim kind of a mentality. And what I really, really need you to do into the month of May is really just focus on to yourself, okay? Time for self-love, time for self-reflection. It's about taking away everything that you've been holding on back. It's about taking away everything that has been repressed. It's about tuning into yourself and taking care of yourself. Stop thinking about others. Stop thinking about projecting into the future. Think about you right now because right now there is something that you do have to do, okay, my sweet love? So, um, yeah, yeah. My beautiful, please do send me an email, my love. I'm going to be back in just one brief moment, okay? Jasmine, I am sending you so much love. Um, I'm back in just a moment, okay? I'm not going to shut this live off. I'm back in just a moment. I'm just going to go on and see my little girl, all right? Um, hold on.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm so sorry for the interruption. Uh, sending me a thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm so, so sorry. Alrighty. Um, Alrighty, well, let's go and do this. Uh, thank you, Carrie. Thank you, sweetie pie. Alrighty, I'm going to go and see our beautiful DM now. So let's go and see my dear, beautiful DM. Where are you, my sweet love? And let me go. Uh, hi, Carrie. Let me go and see. Um, I'm going to wait just a moment because I do not see DM. But I know that you're somewhere around. So looking for DM. After that, I'm going to go and see MZ and Gypsy. So do we have MZ and Gypsy with us, my sweet loves? All right, while I'm waiting for a DM, I'm gonna move on forward and um, I'm gonna go on CMZ. So DM, whenever you're ready, please do post away, my sweet love. Oh, there you go, ha ha ha, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so here we go for DM, love. Is there anything that you should look forward to or avoid in the next six days, work or home? Absolutely, my love, let's go and find that out right away, sweetie. Here you go. I've got it. Thank you, my beautiful Lola, sweetie. All right. So up next is MZ. MZ, let us know if you're somewhere around. And a gypsy also. So MZ and gypsy. All right. Seven of wands. Also getting over here our ten of cups. Getting our nine of swords. I'm having a lot, a lot of thoughts, a lot of ideas, a lot of things that you have to kind of um, move, move around, like move away into a certain way, if you will. Getting our eight of pentacles. At work, things seem to be going well. Financially speaking, anyways, things are good. It's not a problem. Emotionally speaking, neither, really. Um, I'm seeing our six of pentacles. Something is going to be given to you or something that is positive, financially speaking, seems to be kind of pushed or a little bit kind of given towards you into a certain kind of a way. So finances, I shall say, they are good. I don't see any problems within that. I see you being anxious, though. I see you being afraid. I see you thinking about a lot of things, wondering about a lot of things altogether. And I believe that what you're wondering about and you're thinking about is all these little things maybe that you want to do that you have not done. It's not that somebody is coming on through. It's not that somebody is doing something to you at this moment. It's like desires and wants and wishes. But sometimes desires and wants and wishes, sometimes they're more a little bit onto the negative because they're more, uh, they're not negative, they're positive. But what I'm trying to say is sometimes our wants and our desires are not necessarily about I don't know, getting that house or getting, you know, that extra income. Sometimes our wants and desires are about removing toxic people from our life, removing those energies. Sometimes it's about healing. And this is what I'm seeing is a little bit the case for you over here, my sweet one. Um, it is nice to see you, my beautiful Carrie. All right. Getting over here, our Queen of Swords, also our Two of Wands, and I'm also getting over here, breaking our cycles. All right, love. So this is it. It's pretty much what I was saying, right? Um, I feel as though what we actually have to do over here, my love, is the following. You got to break your cycles. You got to stop worrying about 
a million different kind of things and you really just kind of have to start moving towards them, what you're looking for and everything of the such, okay? So I'm gonna say it's gonna be important to start breaking those cycles. It's gonna be important for you to be strong, inner strength, realistic at the very same time. And I'm gonna say follow your heart. If you follow your heart, there's a very, very strong chance from here to the end of summer of a Scorpio coming into your life. So a Scorpio could definitely be coming on in, my love, somewhere around here till the end of summer. If you keep your beautiful heart open, my sweet love, I feel as though you're slowly, it's not until the following week, but you're slowly moving towards a renewal, an awakening, um, a rebirth, if you will. So finally getting rid of all those issues and all those problems and everything that has been holding you back. Good for you, sweetie. So I'm basically going to say no. Well, it's good. What's good is that, um, I'm just going to put this down. What is actually good is that you are moving on forward. You don't have anybody doing any backstabbing. You don't, hello, my beautiful tea clean. Nice to see you, sweet love. There's no backstabbings. There's nothing bad. It's really just you. It is you healing upon yourself and moving on forward with that. And that, I think it's fantastic, sweetie. So good for you that I have no bad news for you. Um, I have nothing but good news moving on forward. And like I said, if you open up your feelings, your heart, um, you might actually have some new love popping on in somewhere around the end of summer. Scorpio, like I said, sweet love. Let me know if there is absolutely anything else that I can do for you, sweetie. Let me know. All right. Um, um, she's busy at this moment, Lilith. She's busy doing other things. She might end up coming to join us a little bit later, perhaps, right, Carrie? But at this moment, I know that she's busy, sweetie. A DM, let me know if there's anything else I can do for you. I gotta go and see our beautiful MZ at this moment. And, um, alrighty. So hold on. I'm just gonna close that on up and I'm going to... I go right over here. So hold on just one moment. All right. You're not dizzy, but you hear birds. It's my phone, sweetie. Yeah, my ring, my my messages, emails, all those notifications are birds. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening. Um, uh, boop, boop, boop. I don't know what that is. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So love. I'm just going to do this like that, and I'm going to go on C. Just one second. We're going to need a timestamp for MZ, then we're going to go and see Gypsy. Alrighty. And here we go for MZ. Just one moment. Okay, this is the one. So MZ is going to be please at... You do? Oh, thank you, DM. <laughs> You're a sweetie pie. Um, uh, Sean, you say what? You had a dream last night that you were... What? You were biting an American alligator in the wild? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't do that. I would not. Mm-hmm. Alrighty, so, um, it's Sweetie Pie. At 25 minutes and 45 seconds, 25.45 for our beautiful MZ, my dear DM, please let me know if there's absolutely anything else I can do for you, sweetie. So, um, yeah, I know, seriously, right? I'm giving you, like, birthday wishes two and three times. I know, my love. That's just the way I do things. <laughs> Honestly, I do crazy things. I do the same thing over here, my beautiful. I do have to say, um, yeah, um, yeah. That's that's my story. I I do it even over here with my kids. I do like two birthdays and three birthdays. I say like happy birthday for a whole week. I kid you not. Um, alrighty, so. Your mom leaves tomorrow morning, so you're grabbing dinner tonight. I'm not sure if you're able to make it today, right? You posted pictures, uh-huh. Let's go and see how he's thinking and how he's feeling about that. All right. Okay.
Alrighty. I feel like he's busy doing a lot of things, but I also feel as though he sees that you've been doing a lot of things. I feel like he is wondering at this moment in time if you have been thinking about him, if you've been wondering about him, if you have maybe reset your priorities. Um, I feel like at this moment, he's seeing you do a lot of things and he absolutely loves it. I still feel like he wants to be able to do all these beautiful things with you. I feel like he wants to move on forward into the same direction as you. I feel like he is slowly overcoming more and more of that hardship. I feel like he is returning and just by like seeing your pictures, by seeing what you're doing, it's actually doing a lot of things. The first is giving him some envy because he actually does want to be there. He wants to be there with you. And um, you have like all these beautiful projects, all these beautiful places in some places he's never even heard about that he is very intrigued about. So you're giving him some envy. You're giving him all different kind of very interesting ideas all together. Um, and I'm basically going to say over here that I feel as though he is reprioritizing a little bit, if you will, his life in order to be able to fit all that in, in order to be able to have that time with you, in order to be able to move on forward into that same type of connection as what you're doing at this moment. He no longer, it's not that he doesn't want you to be doing all these beautiful things with your friends, but he wants to be a part of it. He wants to be into those pictures next time around. Um, so he feels like you're having a really, really good time. He feels like you deserve it. You have been through so much, but he is a little bit jealous, a little bit envious because he would like to be there. But at the same time, you are giving him all different kind of ideas and it's really kind of helping him a little bit reprioritize, if you will, um, his movement towards a relationship altogether. I know I don't I don't I did not even see that into the cards sweetie pie about money and materials I have not even seen that in any kind of way I know right um M's feelings for you today I'm still making that difficult choice career versus you no actually today well a little bit but not really no but yesterday was not yesterday was not a choice of it's one or the other Yesterday was, I'm needing to balance things out, so I'm able to do both of them. He's still into the same mood. Today, he's into reprioritizing, re if you will, his life in order to have more time with you. Yesterday is exactly what he was doing. He was trying to balance things out, if you will. He was trying to do a little bit of a, of a two of pentacles. He's always kind of juggling so many things at the same time. He doesn't really know necessarily how to move on forward or what to do or anything of the such, so... Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Um, getting over here our three of wands, also getting our four of swords, getting our three. Yes, okay, we want to meet on up with you. We wanna have beautiful celebrations, but like I said, we're still into the same place. We're into the place of looking towards the future and creating, creating as much, yes, love-wise, relationship-wise, but also wanting to leave the state and where we're at, not the state as into a state, but wanting to leave the, um, his state of mind that he's into, wanting to jump into the new state of mind, into the stronger one, into the better one, into the one that actually ends up bringing him all his wants and desires without him being a little bit on the side, just kind of stalking. Like at this moment, he almost feels like he's a little bit stalking onto you because he's watching you and he's, you know, he's looking at your pictures and stuff, but he's not necessarily saying all that much, but he likes to watch all the things and he does watch and he does look. So yeah, he's trying to get out of the stalker mood to be into the, you know, just with you kind of a mood thing. Let me go and see what we've got going on with this one. So up next is Gypsy followed up by Mimi. So Gypsy and Mimi. 
What's onto his mind regarding you and your relationship? Four over here, four of wands. This is about homecoming, it's about celebrations. It's about harmony, it's about being there, it's about love, it's about meeting on up that it's really about you meeting his friends, him meeting your friends, meeting family, everything of the such. So it's all these beautiful things that are mixed on in together that are giving what is actually, you know, going to be coming towards you. So yeah, what's onto his mind? I'm going to say getting together. I'm going to say with friends. I'm going to say with family. I'm going to say finally getting this relationship, you know, on board. Let's get things happening. This is what he's thinking about. All right, hold on. Let me go and see what this is all about. We've got Susan who has joined us. We have our beautiful Susan. Hello, sweetie pie. All right, let's give some messages on out to our love. So let's go and see for our beauty over here. What do we've got? Hold on. Alrighty. I long to sweep you off your feet and to shower you with all of my beautiful love. I want to know everything about you, but sometimes I hold my ba myself back from asking because I'm afraid that I might get in a little bit too deeply. Sometimes I feel like I am being controlled by other people, by other thoughts into my mind, and I want to get out of that. I want to be strong. I want to be with you. We incarnated together to be together. And um, hold on, let's go over here. Let's go and take another one on out. Let's go to this one. Thank you everybody for waiting, by the way. I absolutely miss us. I am lost without you, sweetie. I want you to know that you are always and was the best part of my day. Um, I'm getting ready. If you're ready to do so, I'm ready to do so also. Can we simply start on over? My beautiful, sending you much love, sweetie pie. Uh, let's go over here, hold on. Ah, it's my beautiful water fairy. Nice to see you, love. How are you doing, water fairy? So after Susan, I do have over here our beautiful tea clean, and I also have a water fairy. So lovely to see you, sweetie pie. Um, let's go see over here, Gypsy. Do we have our beautiful Gypsy? Oh, wait, DM, I'm so sorry. DM, I need to answer DM. I just saw it over here, my love. Hold on. Yeah, I just, just saw your question. Just give me one moment. Um, are you also wrong for distancing and boundaries with your Aunt Diane, you say? And does she conspire onto the other side with your... Uh, does she conspire? I shall... Let me go and see. Oh, I don't feel as though she has the plans. I don't feel like she is the one who is actually putting things in action, but I do believe that she actually does help the uncle. So I'm basically going to have to say yes. I'm basically going to have to say yes upon that, my love. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, there you are, MZ. 
see or hear. Yeah, he is such a stalker. That's what I was saying. And he, but the good thing is he doesn't really want to be a stalker anymore. Like, he doesn't want to, you know, yeah, that's what it is. So that's a good thing in itself. Um... All right, so hold on just one moment. Gypsy, I said gypsy. I'm gonna go and find gypsy. Yes, gypsy, 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 and here you go. Mm. Oh, yes, oh, sweetie pie. And you miss her so much. Okay, we're gonna have over here a timestamp, please, at 37 minutes and 45 seconds. So 37.45 is for gypsy, okay? Um, and I'm sorry, my love. I know, right? Uh, okay, so I'm going to give you some messages from her. And you also want to know what's in store for you and May. I'm actually going to go and see a little bit what's in store for you and May, my beautiful gypsy, before we begin. And then I'm going to go and check out what's happening with your grandma, okay? Um, okay, so let's go see what's happening into the month of May, and then we're going to move on forward to see uh, what else we've got. Okay, so what's in store for a beautiful gypsy? Indecisions and delays, indecisions and delays. You have an inability to move on forward at this moment in time, my love, you do. I feel like people try to seduce you. I feel like people around you, love-wise, they're like disorganized. I don't feel like you're finding your happy place within love. Yeah, so I'm going to say over here, I feel that, um, I feel like love-wise into the month of May, you're not necessarily getting um, what it is that you want. I feel like you're still waiting. You're still looking for that Prince Charming. But I'm, I'm going to say you're probably going to meet on up with some sexy people, but not necessarily... Um, not necessarily, you know, what you want over here, my love. So you're still searching for love. I still feel like you're a little bit one foot in, one foot out. You have a lot of indecisions. You have a lot of things that are just kind of delayed all the time over and over and over. And I feel like you've been repeating anyways, or into the month of May, you seem to be repeating a different type of patterns, perhaps, that you have been into lately. So it's like somewhat of a repeat that seems to be coming on through. Um, and you do to be careful until the month of May for people that are gossiping, people that are, and it seems to be a lady. It's not a man. It's a lady. There's a lady who could be gossiping about you, sweetie. Um, but I do have good news, financially speaking, that are coming towards you. So I'm not going to say you're changing jobs, but I'm going to say perhaps new money, maybe um, extra hours, maybe some type. I know that you just started there, so a promotion would be somewhat doubtful, but there's good news anyways, financially speaking, that seem to be coming towards you. It could as much be as you've done your income tax and you're receiving money on back, but financially something good is coming towards you. So that's what's pretty much happening into the month of May. Now, just give me a few moments. I'm going to um, gather the energy for your grandma, my sweetie pie. Um... Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Your yeah, grandmother was a funny little girl. A funny little girl. A funny grandma, wasn't wasn't she? She was she was a funny woman is what I'm trying to say. I feel like she had a lot. I see her giggling, I see her laughing. Is there something, my love? Are you even here? Where are you? No, you're not. Okay. Um, is there, my beautiful love, 
within within your grandma, sweetie. Was there anything that she said kind of repetitive, repetitively, like something that could be funny, something of the such? I don't know. I see her kind of smiling, but I see her repeating something, but the words are unclear. I don't quite know what it is that she's saying at this moment. Um, but it seems kind of funny. It's like it's like if she would always do some of a little bit of that, um, that same kind of joke or something. Yeah, that's interesting. Hold on. Um... Yeah. Okay. Your grandmother ultimately wants you. It's like she's trying to push you towards something, my love. She's trying to push you towards something. I don't know. It's like it's like she wants you to be out there and she wants you to be married. Um, like, I don't see her wanting grandchildren. I just kind of see her wanting you to be out there, wanting you to go and find somebody who's good. Somebody who's good, she keeps saying good. Like, if she doesn't like the ones, the contenders that have been into your life lately. It's like repetitive. I want good. I want good. I want good. No more of those bad ones. Like, no more of those losers is the type of message that keeps on coming on through. Um... Yes. It's interesting. Okay, so she's wanting you to find anyways love. She's wanting to kind of push you a little bit into a certain direction. She doesn't like the men that you've been meeting. She says they're all no good. They're all no good is what I'm getting. Um, for some, I don't know what the dish is. Is there a dish that she used to make that you really, really liked? She's presenting me with somewhat of a dish, but I don't know what it is, like some type of a casserole or something. I don't know. It's like she wants a Fiji, sweetie pie. Um, yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay. Other than that, um, I feel like she's happy for you. She's happy for you financially speaking because you've got something. You've got something that she believes you're going to be able to move on forward with, something that's going to be good for you. She's giving somewhat of a warning also. There's a warning. She wants you to be careful for somebody coming into your life who seems to be a man Tall, dark, darker colored hair, darker colored skin tone a little bit, like a tan kind of a thing going on. Darker colored eyes. Yeah, she's like, I don't know, she wants to tell you this person is so, so sexy, like so good looking, but they're not going to be good for you. It's like she's warning you for somebody who's coming on in. Yeah, who's not quite there yet. Um, other than that, my love, she wants you to know that she loves you and she wants you to know that she supports you. She wants you to speak with her more. You maybe you used to speak with her more. You don't do it as much anymore. Like for the last few months, she wants you to speak to her again. She misses you. And um, she wants to be able to listen to what is going on. She wants to be able to try to give you some, um, some wisdom in some kind of way. She's not using the word wisdom, but it's what she wants to do. And that's what I've got for you, my sweet love. I'm sending you so much love, sweetie pie. Hello, my beautiful Elaine Tat. How are you doing, love? And hello, my beautiful magician also. It is lovely to see you, sweetie. And we've got Kai. Oh, my God. The abundance we've got over here. Oh, la, 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 la. Thank you, my sweetie pies. Um... I'm going to go and see Mimi. Mimi's going to need a timestamp. After Mimi, I have Patricia, Sierra, Susan, T. Clean, Water Fairy. Thank you, my beautiful Kai. Kai is going to be after Water Fairy. I'm glad that you're doing good, my beautiful Elaine, sweet one. Um... Okay, let's go see Mimi. Mimi is going to be at 47 minutes, please. 47 minutes for me.
Mimi. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, the line just gets longer and longer and longer, sweetie. If you were in it before, yeah, that's what happens. The more you wait, the longer it gets. Actually, no, we kind of went through half the list. So, I mean, we're good. We're good. Um, <laughs> let me continue on over here. And let's make it a little bit less worse for you, sweetie pie. Um, okay. Me, 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 me. Here you go. Okay. All right. I know you're like, wait, 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 Mimi. I know much better not to follow out one of your PayPal's. Yeah, just a short add-on. Okay, so I will go on PayPal. Uh, <laughs> All right. Okay, so let's let's go see what we've got. Um. Yes, he does still love you. He does still care for you. He does still want to be with you. But he's still being a little bit of a you-know-what into the into the whole thing, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you know why? You know why? Mimi, are you here, Mimi? Because you pop on up in the weirdest times sometimes. Where are you, love? No, you're not here. All right, okay. Um, mm, 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 me, 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 wait, like, like how long? Wait, like how long, Lisa, before? But if you donate right away, my love, the good news is the readings that are coming on through are not huge. They're not really, really quite long. So I'm going to say if you donate right away within the following 30 minutes, you're good, love. All right, here we go. So... And it's going to keep growing, Lilith. We're like the Chichia pet. <laughs> I don't even know if they still sell those Chichia pets. But anyways, um, it is. It is. It is. It is. Yeah, it's not that long. Oh, my God. Um, okay, there you go. I knew you were here. Oh, I knew you were here, sweetie pie. Oh, yes. Now I know, because I'm always doing your readings. Well, one time out of two, you're not here. But other times, you just kind of pop on through. And I'm not looking, because you're usually not here. But yeah, now I'm watching you. So, sweetie pie, this is it. Okay, my love? What you actually need to know over here is this. The fact that he is gone, and he's not talking with you, he's not doing anything, just means that he's a... <clears throat> okay? He's an A, <clears throat> and that's how we're gonna. That's that's what he is at this moment. Why? Because he's not giving you the time of day. He's not writing to you. He's not saying, "Oh, I'm having a fantastic day over here. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm gonna go and do this and so on, so on, so on." He's like doing absolutely nothing, right? Um, you no. Know, uh, well, well, yes, yes. I'm working on it, Lilith. I am working on keeping this up to date. I definitely don't want to have you know. I don't want to be like an airport with so many delays, Lilith. So, my love, what you need to know, Mimi, is this. He is gone. Now, the whole point of leaving is I want to be by myself. I want to think. I want to figure out. I want to see how things are going to be moving. But I need that time within myself. I need to figure things out. And I need to have my free mind. And this is what he's doing. So he needs to have a little bit of that time. He needs to have a little bit of that space. Um, so it's not that he doesn't want to see you. It's not that, no, he does. And he does think about you, but he doesn't openly say that he's thinking about you because if he openly says that he's thinking about you and then he ends up sending you messages and you're going to get the whole wrong direction. You're going to think other things that he doesn't really want to say. And you're going to end up a little bit into a place where there's like discord and frustration. Nobody wants a frustration. Nobody wants that. And so this is why he's being to that kind of way. So he's being a, a B. I'll change words because otherwise it's redundant. He's being a B-U-T-T. Mm -hmm, -T. Um, and that being said, he does love you, though. Yeah, he's just, you know, he's being he's being who he is into the way that he is at this moment in time. Now, that being said, my love. Um, wait, I'm so used to going into my email for you. Um you're trying to make sense of everything in this, right? I know, my love. Uh, I say, uh, he, no, he doesn't want to let go. He doesn't. He still, yeah, he is. He will. Yes, exactly. You're going to have another time together mm -hmm, into the following months. 
Oh, that's pretty much what it is when you think about it. You, you've just kind of flown on by 2024. Oh, my God. Um... Well, okay. Let me let me let me put that out straight. Now, the fact that you say you think that he's not letting go because he has not found somebody else, somebody else who's going to be better, somebody else who's going to be stronger, or somebody who's going to be more beautiful, or more loving, or more caring, or just really somebody who's going to suit his needs best. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, in some kind of ways, you're a little bit right, but not really. You fit everything that he needs and everything that he wants. The point is, he's not ready. That is the only issue. It is the only thing. He is not ready for a relationship. End of the line. That's it. There's no other thoughts. There's no complications. We're not making a potion. He doesn't want to be into a relationship. He's not ready for the relationship. That's it. That's all. Um, now, when you say maybe he'll find somebody else and he'll end up letting you go. Maybe. Maybe he will at some point in time. That could be a possibility. Um, but I don't see that happening. I don't. Because the bottom line is not that he doesn't love you. It's not that he doesn't want to be with you. Is that he cannot be with you. Not because he doesn't want to. He's not ready. He's not emotionally. He's not psychologically. He is not spiritually ready to be into a committed relationship. And so maybe with you or maybe with somebody else, it's not going to change a fact that he's not ready to give up that cup of love. He could be ready. He could be ready, but he's not. So it doesn't matter if it's you or somebody else. He's just not ready, and nobody can force him to do so. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I know what you mean, my love. Um, yeah, what I'm basically going to have to say towards that, sweetie, is the following. I am going to agree with you. Whenever this kind of ends, it's going to end everything together, okay? Um, you're not going to be able to continue to be friends without the having the benefits. You're going to move on. You're going to do something else. He's going to move on. He's going to do something else at some point in time when he's stronger, where he feels better, when he feels like he is ready for a relationship. He'll get into his own relationship perhaps one day. Perhaps he never will. But you'll move on and you'll do what you've got to do. So, But the connection is not going to be the same. It's not the same connection in any kind of way. So the connection that you know at this moment is no longer going to be possible because of the circumstances that are surrounding it, right? So yes, it does kind of close. One door closes both doors, which I know is sad. I know it's frustrating. I know it's got a lot of melancholy that is mixed on into it. Uh, but that's what I've got, sweetie. Um, if a man fake, yes. They will say and do stuff like that's it, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. That's it. Yes. Absolutely. Everything written hit, right? I don't believe that everything. I don't believe that. I, let me put it this way. Everything that was said into what you um, listened to was true, was right, was one million percent on. What I will say towards you is the following. Everything that you wrote also goes into the, I'm not ready for any commitment. When you're ready for a commitment, then you're ready to show the love. You're ready to do everything that you have mentioned to me. He's not ready for it. I know that's all you want to say, right? You should continue to listen to them. Continue to listen to the motivational people who say the most beautiful things, such as um, of what you just listened to, because that's going to actually kind of help you tap into that place. You know, when I say tap into that place where you're pissed at him, you're upset at him because he's hurt you, he's done this, he's done that, or he hasn't done it, and that has hurt you, you need to tap into that, and it's that tapping on in that's going to bring on in... Um, closure for you. That's going to help you move on forward. Because even if you do continue within the following six months and you do see him and you do have some time together with him, the ending, unless something, you know, amazing happens, the ending will still be there. So really it's kind of procrastination all the way until we get to that point, if you know what I mean, because you're actually kind of meant to be with somebody else. Oh, 
Oh, he's being a peach. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, I know, I know. So, um, that's that's what I'm gonna say. I I like it. I why not? Why not? We could def we could definitely go. But I don't know why. I have like a correlation with a peach towards something else that I have problems relating to um, male. But I get it. Yeah, he's a fuzzy peach. <laughs> let's go. Let's go and see what we've got. Uh, do, 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 over here. I know, I know, Juanson. It's just, I don't know, it's my dirty mind. I've got ideas and I've got all different kind of peaches towards a lot of different things. But yeah, it works. It works. Um, let me give you some messages, okay, my beautiful Mimi. Here we go for Mimi. Patricia is next. Sierra is next. Susan is next. T Clean is next. We're gonna need timestamps, my love. We are, we are, we are. Thank you, my beautiful magician, sweetie pie. I'm gonna be with you into the following. Oh, I'm gonna say 30 minutes, love. 30 minutes is gonna be your turn on up. So if you want to leave or stick around with us, please let us know. There's our beautiful Elaine. Elaine's tired of being booted down the list. She decided to take action. Um Oh my god. I know I should stick myself into a box, Swanson. I really should. Um, okay, so let's continue on. I'm not gonna reopen the shorts feed tonight. I'll reopen it tomorrow, guys. At this point in time, we're here for like another hour, which brings us to closing time. So um yeah, kind of, right? Okay, messages for you. Um I was going to use this deck, but I think you actually like messages, messages. So let me give you messages, messages. And, you know, that's it. Let me just give you that. Uh, ba -ba -ba but I want to kind of give you, yeah, I'm going to go over here. That's what I want. All right. I'm talking to myself tonight. Uh, I'm trying to find my way back to you. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm not ready for a relationship at this point. My God, did I pick the right deck? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. No, he probably does not. But you are constantly onto my mind. I want you to know that you are unlike anybody else that I have ever, 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 ever even met. Ah, la, 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 la. Alrighty. Maybe. Yeah, box number five is renovated tonight. It, it got renovated when Anael hurt herself. Yeah, and it'll be back tomorrow in full tip-top shape. <laughs> oh, my beautiful Mimi. I'm sending you so much love, sweetie pie. You are good. You, you know, you've got this, okay? Um, poof, I've got all different kind of things that are popping on up all over the place. Uh, I don't even know where that comes from. There's no name. All right. I guess I'll see it later. Um, Patricia. Patricia is going to be at one hour, one minute. How is she? Uh, she's okay. She's okay. It's not quite as bad as I thought when I received the message onto my phone from her front. I thought, oh my God. But it, it's going to hurt. Like, I'm going to say from the bonbon all the way to mid thigh it's half scraped like it's scraped but um and that is painful <laughs> um but it's not that bad so she's okay she's okay my love um she's upstairs and she's hunkadori but i will be hearing about this bobo like it's the end of the world for a good week <laughs> Poor little thing, my dear God. And I'm sure I know what happened. They went out onto the net with a uh, prince. And I'm sure that they always let Prince run like a crazy little doggy. And they let Prince run. Probably went in front of the little scooter. My little girl fell. And that's what happened. I'm positive of it. But I'm going to go and get the information later. Mm -hmm. So, um, you are, Elaine. Good for you, sweetie pie. Good for you. She is what? She's a crack of a code where your pain was embedded deep down into your core. Oh my God, sweetie pie. Thank you, my beautiful little sweetie. I appreciate it, my love. I do. 
Poor little angel. Um, Elaine, I'm glad, sweetie pie. I am glad and good for you. Um, one more subscriber needed in order for Lilith to give a free reading out. One more subscriber to get a free reading. So um, whoever's new and whoever has not yet subscribed, please go ahead with it. Patricia, Patricia, please. I was saying Patricia was at, I don't know what time, uh, but I actually lied because I was talking. And I have to go back into PayPal, so just one a moment. And voila. Okay, that's what the question is. I've got you two times, my beautiful magician. Alrighty. So Patricia is over here. Patricia is going to be um you heard on uh, that's what it is. I saw that. I saw that like yeah, you have to at some point, otherwise, oh god. You're going to stick there for a long time. Good night, Antonis, sweetie love. Um, okay, so 103. 103, please, for Patricia. I don't even know what it is you want. You never really want anything in particular. But let me go and see. You're celebrating your birthday again, right? Well, good for you, sweetie. Yes, and she is... Uh, oh, well, there you go. That's reverse numbers. It is. I don't know if you even looked at it, but I think you did. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, please do send me a message, love. I hope your dog is okay, sweetie. Oh, your poor dog. I hope your dog's okay. It's like every every year around this time, something happens to your dog, sweetie pie. Um, last year you had to give him like a bunch of pain meds. Like your dog was was mm hmm like high on meds. Um, yeah oh my god okay well send me an email please and let me know what's going on hopefully everything is okay with your dog sweetie um and you're being attacked by family my dear god so it's like the routine right that's w without the dog it's routine your your family always attacks you um but you know they attack you because they love you you know that they attack you because they want the best for you because they want to have your opinion because your opinion matters and because of a million different kind of things and that's why they truly do attack you but that being said let me continue on um by fa but okay that's it, right? You got to go. That's where you got to go. You got to go on up towards your prayers to kind of relieve, release yourself from all these. I know. At Dave and Buster celebrating and drinking, right? Yeah. Don't you send no emails out later, sweetie pie. I knew you were going to tell me to choose your reading, and that's why I just took out some cards. <laughs> okay, I'm looking at your energy between you and your love, sweetie pie. I'm getting over here the Six of Cups. Um... So friendship is on track. Friendship is good. I know you'll say friendship, but I'm not reaching on out. And he's not really reaching on out. What kind of friendship is it? And I'll say, yeah, I know. But that's his kind of friendship. And that's the kind of friendship that you guys are a little bit used to that you kind of have to move on forward with in order to get something more after, right? So um, there's no doubt about it. This is going on over here. I'm also getting that you are feeling like something's completely unfair over here. You're feeling that it's unfair, that he's never really taking any decisions, that he's never really actually reaching on out, that he's not really doing anything and you seem to be doing everything and you're like oh my god what kind of friendship uh, is this right a decision needs to be made between both of you guys but it's not going to be now that it's going to be happening it is not for the moment the only person who is making decisions is you the decision that you are choosing to make is to stay strong stay into your ideas stay into your own vibe stay into a place that for you is good it's beautiful is perfect and it's actually going to end up giving you something into the long run. That's what you're hoping for. That's what you're working towards. You're working towards a better um, a better future than what you've got at this moment. And in order to get that, you have to make some modifications. And this is what you're trying to do. But it's extremely difficult to do all those things because, yeah, you're never really receiving in return. You give and you give and you give. Nobody necessarily gives on back towards you. And they try to actually kind of take and take and take and take and take. So you're a little bit stuck into a place where you are searching, you're struggling, you're kind of overwhelmed with a lot of different kind of things. Um, I'm seeing over here that you are a little bit at his mercy. I know you want to be at his mercy, but not into this kind of way. 
This is about you being there, kind of waiting for him to make that move, waiting for him to say, okay, I'm ready. Let's go on with it. Let's go into that date. Let's go and do this. Let's go. This is what you're waiting for over here. My love, what I'm going to say is the following. I feel as though within the relationship at this moment in time, you're trying to do as best as you possibly can. He's trying to do as best as he possibly can towards you, but his best is not necessarily enough for you. Now, I feel as though there's a little bit of a lack of planning. You're going to see more and more the time goes on through. There's going to be somewhat within the following, I'm going to say until the end of May, a lack of planning. It's almost like if he's going to end up, he is going to come and see you into the month of May, but it's almost like he's going to decide that he's actually coming to see you and he's going to tell you like the day before or two days before, um, like no notice whatsoever, which, well, is a little bit inconsiderate, but as long as he actually comes and sees you and you guys are able to spend some time together, what well, I'm going to say it's absolutely fine. I don't really have a problem with that, um, but that's what I'm getting. Let me go and give you some messages, my sweet love. Sierra is next, followed by Susan and T. Clean. And here we go. You want you want to meet who? Who do you want to meet? You think I think you're cool? Who said that? I thought you thought you were cool. I do think you're cool. I think you're fantastic. I won't necessarily use the word cool. I'm going to say my beautiful Elaine. I think you're fantastic. I think you are creative. I think that you are deeply very, very emotional. I think you have a lot of things that you want to say that you need to say. And you don't always have the best people around you in order to actually say it. But I feel as though you are a little bit like a volcano with so many beautiful ideas but you need a place to share it. You need a place to open on up with it. So I do think you're pretty darn fantastic, my sweet love. Yeah, coffee? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, get in the box. Why? Why did I go in the box? Darn it. What did I say? Oh, the mercy. <laughs> it's got to be the mercy. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, it's the mercy. I'll put myself in. Every night I'm putting myself into the box. Every single night. What is wrong with me? What? Oh, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into it. That's that's what it is, right? Okay. I do deserve to be into the box. I'm a, I'm a D and an N. I'll say a D and girl. That's where I need to go. And I'm not going to say what the D is. And I'm not going to say what the N is. You guys can just figure it out. So I have denied our connection. I withheld from you how I truly felt. I've been scared to commit to you, and now I feel like sometimes I actually ruin that opportunity with you. I feel you're disappointed in me. I'm able, I'm unable to show up for you into the way that you actually need me to. Uh-huh. Oh, it is true. And I might as well go with this, honestly. And I feel like I'm a little bit inspired by this because my oldest son, who's 11, was doing his homework um, earlier, and he had to substitute words that well, kind of synonyms. Um, and I, I always give him lovely synonyms and I always give him lovely things that are so hilarious that he cannot use in class. And I know that he would never use it. And I know that <laughs> he would probably even be expelled by using them. But I'm such a funny mom to do homework with. So um, <laughs> I am consumed and overwhelmed by regret and shame. I don't know what to do or how to make things right. That being said, he was having homework with that and I was helping him. I think that's where my, my D for dirty and N for I won't say what is coming from. Um, that's, that's what it is. Uh, thank you, my dear Hanson. Thank you. We are a soul family. If we are figuring this out and if you guys actually catch on to it, that's just the way we think. And that's what it is. So I got you. Thank you for including me, Hanson. I appreciate it, love. Um, I'm going to go and see, and I'm going to say, Patricia, please do send me an email, my love. Please do so. Uh, yeah, Hanson needs to get into the box. We all need to get into the box. But if we all get into the box, what kind of party are we going to be having into this box? It's going to be crazy. Seriously. We should not all get into that box. Some of us should stay onto the guideline, onto the sideline. Um, Sierra's next. Sierra, moving on forward. See, I'm working on the list. I'm working on to it. Um, Susan is going to be on up next after, followed out by T. Clean. So Sierra, Julio, or Julio. Oh, I think it's Julio. My, not the ex that I'm no longer with, the new ex, but my other ex, um, the Italian. Yeah, his name was Julio. Mm-hmm. 
but I think you it's Julio, not the same. Um, coming to see you. Let's go and see that. So we're gonna have a timestamp over here at one eleven and fourteen seconds. One eleven fourteen. Oh my God, who's been into your thoughts and into your mind? Who? The black kitty cat? Oh, I've got other things to say now, Hanson. You need to put yourself into a box. Stick yourself into a box it's just because of your black little kitty cat you put there. It means everything. Because um, I know that subliminal message is not sent out to me or anybody else into this live. Okay, 112, please. 112 for Sierra. What about Julio? Yes. Oh, Julio is a little bit older than me. Let's go see what's up with him. Mm -hmm. And he's coming to see you. Ooh, that sounds nice. You have time to prepare. <laughs> Let's go and see what he's going to be thinking about you. And what you're going to be thinking about him. I got you, love. I know that you are a busy bee. Ace of Cups, mm, reverse position, the moon. Everything that needs to be said is going to be said, is actually going to be taking on out. Well, this is very interesting. I'm getting kind of a little bit like a rough beginning with an okay ending. Mm. So it's almost like if at first you guys are, well, it is what it is, and you're kind of moving on forward with the whole deal, but a little bit unsure about some things. Um, but you decide, hey, I mean, he came to see you anyway, so might as well move on forward with it. But you're feeling a little bit insecure. You're feeling a little bit disappointed. I see you feeling disappointed at first. Um, but as time goes on by, your your actual initial thought of feeling disappointed actually brings on in positivity and good things. And I actually see you actually being happy over here. So I'm going to say what started off to be a little bit more negative is actually turning into a positive. Now, what's really going to be happening with this, right? Are you guys going to be seeing each other again? Is this going to be... Honestly, my love, I feel like for an actual relationship, it's going to be complicated. Do I see anything happening between you guys into the long term? Not quite, because it's 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 challenging. I don't always feel as though this person's going to be necessarily able to come and see you or you go to see them. I feel like you need and you want somebody who is closer, somebody who is next to you, somebody who can be there, somebody who can hug you, who can love you, who can be there for you. If you want to have dinner or somebody, you know, whatever, this is what you want. You want a beautiful massage one night, you want him to be able to come on over to your place or you go over to his and get that beautiful massage, right? This is it. But I feel like it's not necessarily a possibility. I feel like they're a little bit too far, not necessarily taking things all that seriously. So what I will say is you will most likely end up having a good time. You might even end up having some socks uh, because I do see you guys jumping into something. But that's pretty much what I'm saying. So I'm going to say this. Um, it, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be at first a little bit off, but then it's going to be on. It's going to be okay. You might even end up having some type of socks because I do see some happy times happening. But after that, I kind of feel like it's going to be a little bit on and off until you decide that he's no longer good for you. You're going to find somebody else because I don't necessarily feel like he's going to be ready for this type of relationship. I don't even really feel like he's looking for a relationship. So yeah. Um, I believe that he is going to like you, though. He is going to like you. He is going to want to continue to see you, but a little bit on and off, on and off, and on and off. And, well, that's not necessarily what you want, right? Uh, I'm sending you so much love, sweetie pie. I am. I would normally give you some messages, but I don't know who to give you messages from. Uh, well, hey, why don't I give you some from this guy? Why don't I give you some from this guy? Because you usually ask about other ones, but like, let's go with this one. Um, up next, by the way, is Susan. Susan, Tea Clean, and Water Fairy. So I know Tea Clean is not here. I know Susan is not here. Water Fairy, I don't know. So um, I'm going to go and see that. Water Fairy and Kai, please do let us know if you are here. Water Fairy and Kai, please let us know. Okay, so messages. Ace of Pentacles. Yes, nice new beginnings. Wanting definitely with a beautiful purple passionate kind of a card. Are you thinking about me? Because I think about you too. And I want you to know truly that you are so very beautiful and so special, special to me, my love. So, sweetie pie. I'm going to say yes, but I'm going to say no. Don't get too attached. I don't feel like this person's going to be ready for a relationship. Thank you, my beautiful water fairy. We need socks. What's that? We need socks. What is that? Second question is going to be the far future down the road. Wait. For second question, it's going to be the far future down the road. You want to know like your far future down the road? What do you want to know, Elaine? Okay, let me know when I get to you, Elaine. Let me know. 
far future. I'm writing far future down the road and you can be explicit at that time, okay? Hi, Dan. Nice to see you, sweetie pie. I hope you're okay. Oh, Elaine, you feel like you're you're running out of socks. Oh, then you got to wash, sweetie. You got to wash. <laughs> Let's keep it into the laundry kind of a section. Um, okay, so here we go. Uh, Susan, 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 my sweetie pie. Susan is at 117, please. 117 for Susan. Um, what is he thinking? What is he feeling about you? Is it an, oh, hold on. Let me go and see. Let me go and see. What do I have? What is a thinking and feeling about you? Mm-hmm. I feel like he's always saying to himself, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try last time. I'm going to try another time. I'm going to try again. I feel like this is what he's doing. So I'm basically going to say towards you, I feel like he's always kind of trying. But without necessarily like a determination. It's like he never wants to let go of this. But he keeps on working towards it, which is interesting, right? Um... Yeah. I don't know, Elaine. I'm just following with what you said. That's all I'm doing, sweet love. Um, you're wondering, my beautiful Susan. Yeah, you say he kind of goes a little bit all over the world, right? Is he actually kind of having fun all over the world also? Um, yeah. I'm going to say, honestly speaking, I do feel as though he... I don't see him. I still don't see him. I don't want to categorize him as somebody who is cheating, like sexually speaking. I don't see him having intercourse or anything as such with anybody, but I do see him um, flirting. He's very, very flirtatious. He flirts. And when he flirts, he pays for things and he does a lot of things, but um, he doesn't cheat on you, like physically cheat on you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did he receive a kiss from somebody? I'm going to say yes. I will say a yes towards that. Um, so I will say yes. The chick's name that you got over there, I will say yes towards that one. Okay. Um, I'm going to say a yes towards that. A yes. I will say yes. I do believe that he is the one who bought those sneakers. I don't believe that she necessarily want to say hi back to you because she knows who you are and who you are towards A. That's it, right? I don't see. I feel as though she did try to kiss him. I do feel so but nothing else. Like they did not do any kind of acts. I feel like she tried to kiss him and I feel as though he accepted the kiss. I don't believe the kiss was onto the lips. I feel like it was somewhere around the cheeks and I feel like he kind of pulled away. And you say, what's going on over there between them? Okay. Did they ever sleep together? I, I shall say no. Do they flirt together? I will say yes. What's important for you to know into all of this and into everything that you have asked me, my beautiful Susan, is the following. Yes, he did buy those sneakers. Yes, he did receive a kiss. Yes, um, there is, he flirts a lot. Yes, he does go a lot around the world. He does meet different people. He does flirt a lot. He does spend a lot of his money towards it also. 
but he doesn't necessarily go and do the deed, if you will. He doesn't get into that. Um, so I'm going to say towards you into that. Um, I don't know where your barrier is within all of this. I don't know where is, where's your line? Is a kiss your deadline? Is socks a deadline? What is it? I don't know. That's entirely up to you to decide. I'm going to say that he has not physically done anything with anybody else. I'm also going to say that he's always kind of giving it this one last try. Let's try it again. Let's try it again within you, within the relationship. Let's give it one more go and see where it goes. But it never really ever ends. There's always like another go and another go and another go. So does he actually plan on leaving you at some point in time? I don't really feel as though he is. Um, I'm going to go and see our beautiful tea clean, and then I'm going to be with water fairy. So I know that water fairy is here. Hello, my beautiful Anna. Nice to see you, love. Thank you so very much, sweetie. I will leave you a timestamp, my love. I'm probably going to be with you into the following 25 minutes or so, okay? It is lovely to see you, sweetie. Oh my God. Yes, not everybody. Who else has got to go into the box? Oh, Quantin, you gave a box to Elaine. You are so right, Dan. Not everybody gives. Not everybody gets that box. But you got to be careful. Sometimes he ships you to the North Pole, sweetie. You got to be careful. Sometimes Quantin is a beautiful knight, but sometimes he's got vengeance. Sometimes he does. Um... All right, I said, I said, my beautiful tea clean. Where's tea clean? Here is tea clean. A general money and love. I got you. Tea clean is going to be at 123 and 15 seconds. 123, 15 for tea clean. Okay, so. Oh, we've got, yeah, we have separate boxes. Yeah, we, we're all into our own little box. Because if we intermingle together, it's completely pointless. We'll just need a bigger box. We'll actually need a cage. We'll just become uncontrollable. Um, well, thank you so very much, my dear Shay. Thank you so very much, sweetie pie. Um, I do have to say we have a little bit of a wait at this moment of approximately 30 minutes, sweetie. So we can leave you a timestamp, my love, or if you want to stick around or leave and come on back as you wish, my love, but we are going to be with you in approximately 30 minutes, okay? Thank you so very much, love. So here we go for our beautiful tea clean. General love, money, timestamp, absolutely. Water Fairy is going to be on up next. So, oh, yes, 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 yes. The end, the end. Attacked, betrayed, devastated. Okay, my love. Um, absolutely, Hanson. Thank you, Shai, love. Thank you so very much, beautiful. Um, okay, what I'm going to say over here, my beautiful tea clean, is some type of bad news is coming towards you, all right? Uh, thank you so very much for letting me know that you're going to be sticking around, sweetie pie. If ever you do want to leave, though, your question's already in PayPal. We will leave you a timestamp. Don't worry. Um, so this is it. This is what I'm going to say over here for you. My beautiful tea clean, some type of bad news is coming towards you. Um, it's not something huge. It's not something, it's just something that is going to be a little bit ending. So there is somewhat a little bit of an ending that is going on over here because you're feeling attacked. You're feeling attacked. Um, you're feeling a little bit betrayed. I feel like you're feeling attacked and I feel like you're feeling a little bit betrayed by you know who, but I don't want to say who the name is, but you know who the name is. Um, you're into a beautiful period, I'm going to say, where there's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of openness. There's a lot of, mm, I'm going to say overflowing emotions that seem to be coming on through. So I'm getting beautiful. I'm getting some very, very strong vibes and I have to say, I absolutely love that. So a lot of good things that are actually coming towards you where you're going to be feeling complete. So whatever this person is doing over here, you are, um, you're going to be ending it. You're going to be saying, this is it. This is enough. I can't take this anymore. I've said it before and you're going to be strong. So continue to be strong, continue to be strong with your mind, continue to be fair. 
and continue to get your clarity. Continue to move on forward because this ending over here is actually bringing overflowing of emotions, of beautiful things that are coming on in towards you, my love. Um, I'm seeing over here that you are more and more positive. You are stronger. You've got beautiful vibes. I'm actually even seeing perhaps, perhaps my love, some type of a new relationship, some type of new love coming on in towards you into the following two, three months. So I'm going to say let's hold on to that, sweetie. Most likely a sign of Pisces this time around. Um, Honestly, I feel as though financially speaking, I'm not going to say everything is perfect, but things are definitely getting better. And I feel like you're off. Are you looking for like a new project? Either you're looking for a new project, like something extra that you can add to the actual job that you're doing at this moment, or you're looking to kind of switch it on up. But there's a new project that you are either thinking about or you're going to implement that's going to end up being actually really, really quite good for you, sweetie. So I'm going to say it is time to put all those pauses, all those delays behind you. Stop with those sacrifices. You are sacrificing over and over and over and over again. Stop feeling like you are powerless. Give yourself that power back towards you because you deserve it, because you are strong, and because you need it to move on forward and to be successful. So it is time to release the negative. It is time to accept the new opportunities. It is time to accept those new opportunities into love, I said, somewhat of a Pisces, also into... Um, into your business, into your ideas, into your clarity, into your spirituality, and really just opening on up and cutting off all that crap down there, sweetie. Uh-huh. Am I if I'm out to you gonna grab a burger, Elaine? I have one, two, three. I have three people ahead of you, Elaine. So if you can grab a burger and eat it. <laughs> well, you can still eat while listening to me, by the way. <laughs> uh gypsy good for you making grilled cheese with your son sweetie i love it t clean i am going to give you some universe messages and i'm going to give you also um an angel message um oh a tuna melt a tuna melt is good too stop stressing about this all is going to work out especially or anyways the way that it should abundance and stability are going to be entering into your life and you also need to know see this is it this is that person who's coming on in that you don't want to come in but you know who it is unexpected communication coming on in towards you love ah, la 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 um water fairy you are next do we have kai with us and do we have magician kai and magician and elaine are going to be the following readings followed out by anna and shay we are going to be closing up the readings tonight at 10 so in 30 minutes my sweetie pies let's go and see for water fairy water fairy is going to have a timestamp at 129 i know she's here but often she likes a timestamp so 129 for water fairy has jay been missing you Mm-hmm. All right. Well, let's go and see you to begin with over here. Thank you, my beautiful Kai, sweet love. You are next. Thank you for waiting so patiently. Thank you, my beautiful Lilith, also. So I'm actually going to start off with your um, additional question. So... I don't lose it. I don't forget about it. So you want to know, is somebody that is close to you? No, my love. No. I'm getting over here, overactive imagination, a little bit of jealousy, a little bit of unrealistic thoughts going through your mind, which is why you're thinking that something is actually happening between them. So my answer on to that one for the moment is a no. There is nobody that you are close to that is actually seeing Jay. So on to that, it's a no, my love. Now, has Jay been missing you? And um, what did he think when he saw you? Has Jay been missing you? And we're going to go like this. What did he think when he saw you? We're going to take out these cards. We're going to take another one out. So why did he ghost you last time around? And I'm going to go and see what is hidden, what we need to know. All right. Okay. 
here we go. First question, has Jay been missing you? Yes, we have, but we're not necessarily missing you into the way that you think that we could be missing you. I'm seeing six of cups. We're missing the connection. We're missing the friendship. We're missing the time spent together. We feel as though it's time to make somewhat of a decision, but we feel like things are a little bit unjust, but we don't really know how to make things best or how to make things really all that better. I feel like at this moment in time, he is not necessarily looking towards communication. He's more kind of trying to strategize what he is doing, how he's moving on forward. He's actually searching for his answers, his own clarity. And this is why he has not necessarily reached out neither. So have we been missing you? It is a yes. Um, if we move on forward over here, so what did you think when he did see you? I'm going to say mixed emotions over and over and over again. Look at that. Mixed emotions mixed on in with, I want to see you. Yeah. If I could, and if I had the strength to, I would. The moon hiding everything within. Everything is there. Everything is within. Everything is within our soul. Um, we want to reach out. We are thinking about even if we could. It's just so many emotions that are mixed together. I feel as though there is friendship. There is attraction. There is desire. But at the same time, there is that one of saying, well, I'm okay the way that I am also. So we don't know. We're just a little bit, I'm going to say, a little bit like our justice into the first cards, wondering what to do. Do we take a step forward or do we continue on to our path? Ultimately, he's the one who's going to be deciding, but he has not yet decided. Mm hmm. And um, so he has not reached out basically because he has no idea. Why did he go see you last time? He goes to do last time around because there was somebody else into his life. Yes, he goes to do because he thought that it would be fair if he would actually move on forward because he doesn't, he didn't want you to know. And so he was hiding it towards you. So there was somebody else into his life at that moment when he ghosted you. And if we go on see what do you need to know, that's probably what it is that you need to know. There was somebody else. There was somebody else and that's why he kind of stopped. He thought that maybe there was another possibility. Maybe there was something else that could be coming on through. So let's go and see what is hidden and what you need to know. Beautiful Kai, I shall be with you in about one moment, my love. What you truly need to know is that at this moment in time, I feel like he's onto the defensive. I feel like he doesn't really know what to do, right? I'm also seeing over here um, self-protection, trying to hide things. A lot of attraction, a lot of attraction, sweetie. Honestly, my love, what is hidden, what you need to know is that he's still kind of holding on to you because there's a lot of attraction. But doesn't really know what to do about the relationship. I'm not surprised by the fact that he asked you to come on over. It's not, it's not weird in any kind of way, my love. He doesn't want to have a loving relationship with you. He wants to have socks. He wants to have friends with benefits. He wants to continue with what you guys have been having for the longest of time, but he's not looking for anything else. So the fact that he would ask you to come on over is because he is interested in you. For a little while though, there was somebody else into the picture and that's why he kind of ghosted you, sweetie. Um, he just kind of felt like it was a little bit unfair. So does he desire you? Does he, does he want you? Yes. Does he think about you? Yes. But is he ready for anything? No. If you get back into your relationship with him, which I don't believe is going to be happening because I don't see him offering it, but you're going to be back into the same place where you're always going to be wondering, why is he not opening on up? Why is nothing really changing? What is happening within this relationship? Because he's simply not able to give himself 100% towards you. He's not able to give himself 100% towards anybody else as far as that goes. Uh, let me go and see. Is it since he asked you to come over then change his mind in like 10 minutes? Well, that has nothing to do with the other person. I don't know if that question is related to the other person who came on in. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say um, the whole idea of come on over and change his mind in 10 minutes is he thought he could face this. He was inspired. He wanted socks, beautiful ace of wands. He thought, hey, let's try another time. But then he decided, mm -mm, I can't get myself back into that cycle. That's why he changed his mind. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say he changed his mind last minute, sweetie pie. He changed his mind last minute because he's not able to give you what it is that you want. And he's a little bit worried about the whole thing. Oh, thank you, my beautiful love, sweetie. Um, let me give you some messages. I'm sorry, sweetie. He's always a little bit kind of conflictual like that, right? Hold on. Um, I worry about being able to come. I do, my love. I've got you. Um, I'm worried about being able to come up to your expectations. I'd like to see you, but I'm dealing with a lot of old karma at this moment. I want to make things right between us. I'm just not sure how I'm able to actually do that. I want to return to you, and I will very soon. I secretly want to ask you if you could wait. I know it's not fair to ask you that. But don't think that I don't care, because I truly do. And that's it, right? I'm going to say, my beautiful water fairy, follow your heart. Follow with what you believe is good for you. But I don't personally see that he's going to be changing in any kind of a way, my love. So I'm going to say it's probably best for you to a little bit kind of walk on through, to walk on by, if you will. Um... Well, that is very interesting, Juanson. It is. It does sound good, too. I like it. Why not? Yeah, I know. Now now your mouth is watering. <laughs> oh, T. Clean, I'm sending you so much love, sweetie. This is not a good situation for you, but if you do want to extend it and you do want to have fun along the way and kind of test the waters, go ahead with it, my sweet love. Just beware and be careful for your beautiful heart, okay? Sending you much love, Water Fairy. Hi, sweetie. What would spirit guides like you to know? And a message is from M and the universe. Absolutely. With ranch and celery. Well, why not? Why not? I don't know. I like my tuna melt with cheddar cheese and tomatoes and spinach. Like, mmm, that is so good. And I like to have my tuna melt onto a croissant. But I don't know. Mm -mm. That's the way I like it. And now you guys are making me want that. I might actually make it tomorrow. Um, and fries, why not? Because it just goes with it, right? <laughs> Did you have time to eat your burger, Lane? Um, let's go see what your spirit guides have to say. You've never had a tuna melt. It's time to go and have one, sweetie pie. Freshly cut tomatoes with cheese and just some um, little baby spinach. Mmm, delicious. Yeah, and you ate your burger. I've been feeling like having a burger too. Oh, my kids eat nothing. Seriously, it's difficult to eat things into my house. It is. All right, okay. So, sweetie pie, what I'm getting for you over here is um, is a following. Here we go. Slow down. Slow down. Don't get ahead of yourself too much. Take some time to actually allow things to unfold towards you. Also, it is time for you to start listening with your heart. Start listening to what is being said to you. But you need to listen with your beautiful, loving heart all together, sweetie pie. Um, you need to know also that the relationship that you have with M is not an ordinary type of relationship. It is a spiritual connection. It is a relationship that has a connection that goes beyond this actual lifetime. Um, and I'm going to say, embrace your emotions. Don't push down your feelings. Don't judge them. Just kind of live on through them and see what opens on up towards you, my love. It didn't cook well, Lane. Oh, that can't be good. Hmm. All right. Um, so that's what I'm going to have to say for the moment, my beautiful, what your spirit guides are actually telling you. Um, let's go. Yes. I feel like it resonates pretty darn close, doesn't it? Um... 
Oh, I don't eat seafood. I'm sure it's very good. I just don't eat it. Yeah. Mm. It's not my thing. But yes, a lot of people like it. So I'll say yes. I'll put a thumbs up towards it. It's not because I don't eat it that it's not good. There's a lot of things I don't eat. Uh, some doors are closing and some doors are opening over here, sweetie. Let go of the old because the new is going to be coming on in towards you. Somebody is watching you from a distance and divine timing is playing a huge role into this situation. Oh, it's burnt, love. Oh, that is gross. Oh, no, that is not good. And you're brushing your teeth, so you respond with emojis. It's all good. <laughs> you can, and the fact that you're brushing your teeth and you're still able to respond with emojis is all good, Kai. It's beautiful. I will take it. I shall accept it. Um, before I give you some messages, my sweet love from M, I have to say, first of all, I believe your spirit guides have told you a lot of beautiful things that are very important that you do have to follow on through if you're able to and if you want to. Now, what I will also say towards you is this. Your dad loves you so very much. Your dad is wanting more structure towards you. He is wanting more stability towards you. Your dad is trying to protect you as much as he possibly can, even if it is from a psychological or an emotional kind of a side. You are abandoning. You are slowly, you're not abandoning, but you're slowly leaving the idea of, um, um, but you know what? Good for you because within patience, within perseverance, unexpected choices, and I'm going to say unexpected love should be popping into your life. So let's heal and let's get rid of M and let's let new love come on in. Mm -hmm. New love, summer love. Let's go on forward with the summer love. Um, you're dealing with a Pisces, you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're dealing with a Gemini. So Sky, a uh, Skypies. I have to stop combining words. What the hell is a Skypies? A Pisces. <laughs> A Gemini or Scorpio, and it's not a sky piece. Yes. <laughs> oh, my dear God. Um, okay. And that's what I've got for you, sweetie. Please, nobody combine my new astrological signs. <laughs> well, they're pretty scary. Um... I know. I know, my love. I know, sweetie pie. I know you don't have much of a choice because of that. I know. All right. I'm going to give you some messages from uh, this little deck over here. I want to be so much more than friends. I know, sweetie. I wonder if you are happy without me. I do still want you. Sometimes I stay awake and I really just think about you. I'm going to go to another deck now. Yeah, Juanson, don't you just want to create a brand new deck? Talking about creating new decks. Where's all those new, where's all that tarot deck? Where's your tarot deck, love? Where is it? I want some Skypies into it. It sounds like some bad disease that I'm not going to say, but a Skypie sounds like it. Oh my God. Okay. There is definitely some glitches because YouTube's telling me I'm all alone. Uh, what is that, Gypsy? You say, yes, she was obsessed with you getting married and she would just say, find somebody good, right? That's it. Oh my love. There you go. Oh, Gypsy, sweetie pie. Perfect. 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 I'm sending you so much love, sweetie. Your grandma, she is sweet as heck. She is beautiful in so many ways. Oh, my God. And she's kind of bossy, but like into a loving kind of a way. She's adorable, Gypsy, and she loves you, sweetie. So please connect with her a little bit more. She wants to know more from you, my love. Oh, that is perfect. I love you, my beautiful Gypsy. I'm glad that your grandma came on through and gave you these messages, sweetie. I know, right? Now, now Watson wants to eat tuna casserole. <laughs> oh, Gypsy, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay. She wants this for you. She's offering you these beautiful things because they are memories, my love. They are memories into her mind, into her heart, into her soul. They are engraved into it, and she just wants the best for you. So, heck, I say let those tears run on down and send her all that love, beautiful. 
I don't know what happened to Sean and Diane. I, I don't know. I'll probably receive an email later. Something must have happened somewhere. I don't know. Um, I'll figure it out. Okay, that it was a pinched nerve that did it, right? Hanson, I got you, sweetie. I really hate my beautiful Kai not communicating as much as I actually want to. You just kind of gave me that special little spark. And I want you to know that you are so different. And that is why I truly do. Well, love you. My beautiful Kai, if there is anything else I can do for you, please do let me know, sweetie pie. I'm going to go and see our beautiful friend, Magician, at this moment. But she is into... So I've got Magician, and then I've got our beautiful Elaine, Anna, and Shay. I'm going to go and see if there's anybody else. Donations closing in 10 minutes' time. Okay, so here we go over here. I do not have Shay, though. Shay did say that she did. She, I believe, is a she. I don't know if it's a she or if it's a he. Shay, where are you, sweetie pie? Um, I don't know where you're at. I don't have anything into my PayPal, my love. So if you want to go and validate and see what has happened, I don't have anything up until now. And I just logged back in. So everything is refreshed. So Shay, please do validate. Make sure that it went on through or if it's on hold anything, but I haven't received anything. So do check that on out. Okay, my sweet love. Into the meanwhile, for our beautiful Veronica. So here we go for a magician. Yeah. I don't have anything, Shay. I don't have anything, love. I have nothing under JT, sweetie pie. Nothing, 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 my love. So maybe just go and check it on out. I have nothing for the whole day into that, my love. You can, Gypsy. What do you want to know, my love? Ask away. What do you want to know, sweetie? You can always ask, Gypsy, you know. You can always ask, my love. It's, you don't even have to ask. Just ask. <laughs> it's all. I will never say no to you. Oh, Gypsy, you say she grew up onto a farm, right? Yeah, my grandma did too. Yeah, they can be bossy. They're hard workers. They are so sweet. They are so loving. They are so grounded. But I mean, they got attitude. I got you. Um, yeah, a Gypsy, whenever you're ready, go ahead with it. I'm going to go and answer Magician. I'm going to answer you right after, okay? So I'm just going to put over here a beautiful gypsy. Whenever you're ready, post your question. And I'm going to go and see Magician. Oh, Gypsy's already there. Okay. Oh, my God. No, she is not. Oh, my God. No. Oh, Gypsy, no. No, 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 no. Let that go completely. Oh, my dear God. No, forget about that. Oh, like I got chills just with what you said there. No. Oh, she is not, sweetie. Um, oh, God, no, Gypsy, absolutely not. She understands. She knows how life goes. She understands the circumstances. She loves you with all her heart and soul. She does not have one, not one tiny little bit of frustration towards you, of anger towards you, of resentment towards you. She is at peace. She is a beautiful symbol, if you will, of love, of generosity, and all she wants is your very best. Like I said, she wants you to talk to her more. You've been talking to her a little bit less. She wants to know more. She's trying to guide you. She's trying to follow you, and I kind of see her. Sometimes she gets really, really quite worked up with some things that you do. She's a hilarious la la lady. She is adorable. She is fantastic. And she is not upset with you in any kind of a way. No, 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 no. Please release that. Throw that into the trash and never talk about it again. Release that from your beautiful soul, sweetie. She loves you with all her heart. All her heart. And she's giving you a really, really, really big, like a big bear hug at this moment, my love. So, um, sweetie, take it on in, my love. She loves you. Oh, let me go and see, Shay. Let me go and see, sweetie. I did hear some some noises onto my phone, so I'm going to say most likely yes. 
And I do. I've got you over here, my love. So, JT, I've got you. Thank you so very much, sweetie. You're still at the same place on the list. You have not lost your place anywhere. So, have no fears. But I have everything that I need. Thank you so very much, my sweet love. Um... Three nights ago. Is there a possibility three nights ago, uh, Gypsy? I'm getting three. I don't know why I'm getting three. She did, didn't she? Oh, Shay, thank you, my love. Why am I getting three? What happened three days ago? Is that when you had the dream? Uh, don't worry about it, my love. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm getting like three for some reason. I'm getting the number three. Uh, I don't know if it was three weeks ago or three days ago. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's a third daughter. Maybe that's where my, my three is coming from. I keep getting a three. Three, 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 three. Uh, so, yeah, she did. She did, my love. She did. Okay, well, there you go. Yes, she did. It was her, sweetie. Absolutely. Absolutely, Gypsy. Yes, all the way through. Mm-hmm. It's a yes for you, my beautiful gypsy. She did come towards you. Um, you can expect her to come again in seven days. So um, seven days time, she's coming on back. That's it. Three weeks ago, you had it, right? Okay. She's coming back in seven days. So we're what today? We're Tuesday? Next, next Tuesday, my, no, next Monday, next Monday, she's coming on back. Mm -hmm. She's going to come on back, sweetie. It's my pleasure, my sweet love. So, um, look for her next Monday. I know it's kind of difficult sometimes to kind of, you know, meet on up into the dream world, but pay attention to your dreams. Maybe keep a little bit of a notebook next to your bed within the following, by next, not in the following, like it's not happening tomorrow or whatever. It's really happening on Monday. On Monday, that's where everything, that's where she's going to meet you up again. Anyway, she's going to try. Yeah. I'm sending you so much love, Gypsy. I'm glad that she came on through for you tonight, sweetie. I'm glad that I was able to give you her loving messages, her beautiful soul, and as much as some things are kind of weird, like I come up with casseroles and stuff, anyways, it's what she shows. It's what she portrays. It's like her way of showing you that she loves you. So I'm going to say take it on in, my love. She's here with you, sweetie. I hope so, sweetie. I hope so, my beautiful gypsy. <laughs> Oh, Gypsy, if there's anything else, you let me know, okay? I'm always here for you. Even if you do have questions, something that kind of bothers you, my email's always open to you, you know, Gypsy. I say it all the time. You never use it, but it's always there. You can, Elaine. You can. Go ahead with it, sweet one. She was. She still is. I'm not even going to say was. She still is. Because she's up there. She's watching you. And... She's, she's just like fantastic. She's having a ball of love and she loves following you. You make her upset sometimes. <laughs> she gets aggravated, but oh my God, she loves you. You've got this. You have a beautiful guide up there following you, sweetie. Um, I'm going to put a new, not a problem, my beautiful Elaine. I'm going to put a new timestamp for, um, ba, 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 da, 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 da. oh, I love you, Gypsy. I want the very best for you, sweetie. Um, Gypsy, 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 not Gypsy. I'm stuck into Gypsy. It's not Gypsy. I'm moving over to, to Magician, Magician, ha, 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 ha. Magician's at 155 and 30 seconds. 155, 34, our beautiful Magician. And you do have two different questions. So we're going to go with the first one. Are you going to be moving in 2024? Is that still into your energy? To an Italian neighborhood. Oh, mi piacere. I really do want you to. Yes. Per favore, go towards it, my sweetie. And your oldest just moved two weeks ago to Italian neighborhoods. So you're a little bit confused. Was it? Yeah, it could have actually been. It could have actually been, sweetie. Sometimes the energies kind of end up getting a little bit mixed on through. Um, 
I honestly don't see you at this moment. Are you going to be moving in 2024 into your energy? I'm going to take another card, another deck out at this moment. I don't see it. So maybe the energy has actually shifted. I do see connections that are over there, though. So I do. I'm going to say most likely the person who had read your cards had actually thought that it was you. Um, but this is it. It was actually your oldest that actually moved on through. Um, I'm getting over here a page of swords. I'm getting our pentacles coming on through. I don't see you moving, my love. So I'm going to say maybe the reader saw you going towards an Italian neighborhood and thought that maybe you'd be moving there, but um, it is not you. So I'm going to say I don't see you going there at this point in time. Um, so I'm going to say no. No, my love. I don't believe that it's going to be both of you guys neither. Unless you just kind of go over there, you love it, you switch up the energy, and you think, oh my God, I need to be here. This is where I'm going to be. But other than that, I'm going to say no. And... Hey, my beautiful Amy. Nice to see you. Is your oldest daughter into your energy? Uh, apparently, yeah, she's the one who did that, right? Hello, my beautiful Susan. It is nice to see you, sweet love. Um, you already did. You did miss your reading. And of course, we did leave you a timestamp because that's just the way we do things. How are you doing, my beautiful Susan? Um, your daughter is into your energy. And it's normal that she would be somewhat into your energy because you think about her, you wonder about her because... There's inspiration, there's ideas, there's 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 a lot of confusion sometimes that kind of comes on through. So I will say, yes, I do feel like her energy is a little bit there, but it's not the main. Like I don't actually, I want to say that her energy is within you because you think about her, because she is a part of you, because she is your daughter. Therefore, yes, the energy is there. And yes, sometimes maybe, you know, things could kind of get a little bit kind of mixed on through into your reading because their energy is coming on in. But I basically don't see it for myself. I don't see that. I see when I do your readings, usually I see you doing whatever it is that you've got to do. But I don't usually see your daughter. At this moment in time, I'm going to say this is a little bit what happened within the whole moving situation. Um, but basically speaking, she's there. Her energy is there with you because she is your daughter. So she is a part of you. But I do not believe that her energy, if you will, is taking control over yours or anything of the such. I feel like you have your own energy. It is yours, but sometimes it could kind of kind of mold itself with um, your daughter's energy. But it could also kind of mold itself with somebody else's energy, like let's say Capricorn. Um, so we do have energies of people that are around us in different situations that switch on up our energies a little bit or kind of fusion with ours a little bit. But it's very, very, very quite temporary. So I'm basically going to have to say she is there. But no, she is not. You are 100% you, my sweet love. But there are some influences of her every once in a while into your readings, my love. Um, hold on, Susan. I'm going to answer that, sweetie. Elaine, you are going to be on up next. Magician, if you're somewhere around and you do have any questions, please let me know. Okay, sweetie. Um, uh, Susan, 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 that was retracted over here. Did Andrew have a woman oh, when you love the hotel? Let me go and see. Elaine, if you want to post your third question, you shall, sweet love, if you want to, because you're up right now. And then I'm going to go and see our beautiful Anna, Shay, and Amy. Sweet love, did Andrew have somebody come on in at the hotel? I shall say no. So it is a no towards that one, sweetie. Um, Elaine... Elaine, 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 Elaine. Let's go on see. Okay. So 
so lame. Will you end up? Who who will you end up with into the future? Possibly John. You decide to settle and be more mature onto yourself. Well, sometimes being more mature with ourselves does not necessarily mean that we're settling towards somebody. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we're with Elaine. Um, Anna, let me know if you're here. Shay, let me know if you're here. And Amy, let me know if you're here. Amy's going to be the final reading for tonight. I will go and validate and make sure that everybody has been um, answered, but I believe that Amy is going to be our final reading for the night. Okay. You definitely did get a time stamp, my beautiful magician. Nice to see you again, my love. Let me know if you have any other questions, okay, magician, that pop on through, my love. Um, okay. So this is what I'm going to say over here for you, okay? Who are you going to end up with into the future? Possibly John. I don't really see John. I don't feel like anybody that is around you at this moment in time is actually going to be into your life later on. I feel like at this moment in time, people are kind of passing on through, my love. Thank you, my beautiful Shay, sweetie. They come on through, but they kind of go on out at the same time. I don't really feel like anybody is complete, secure, there, strong, and everything of the such. I feel like the people that are there, the fact that you say, oh, I'm trying to be more mature. I'm trying to settle on down. I don't want you to settle for somebody, my love. Okay? I got you, my beautiful. Thank you, sweetie. I do not want you, my beautiful Elaine, to settle for somebody. Settling for somebody is not good. Settling for somebody is not positive. You should never settle into your life. You could settle for a certain amount of time because you need to figure out things, because you need to switch up the vibes, because you need to find different answers, everything is such. I get that. But to settle, settle forever because you believe that maybe this person could be good but nobody else, I'm going to say no, no. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So John is a possibility, but is John the actual possibility is going to be with you forever? Absolutely not. John, by here to, I say, the end of the year is no longer there, no longer into your life, sweetie pie. You need to be with somebody who is going to um, to make your heart palpitate, to who is going to, uh, you're just going to be thinking about this person all day long. There's nothing else that you can think about. It doesn't matter if something bad happens, if something good happens. You need to be with somebody who drives you crazy, somebody who you cannot fall asleep because, my God, you keep thinking about this person. All you want to do is to be with them, to be close to them, to share beautiful moments with them, to talk with them, to hear them. That's what I wish upon you, sweetie. That's what you need. And I believe that that is where a beautiful love actually settles itself in, where those wants and those desires and everything kind of fusions itself all together, right? Yeah. So I'm definitely going to have to say over here, this is it. Hi, my beautiful Carrie, sweetie. What's up, my love? Um, what is that? What, 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 what are you sending me, my love? Um... Oh, that is interesting. I don't know what to say, my love. I don't know. That is very weird, Carrie. <laughs> I, maybe somebody's playing around with your account, sweetie pie. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, Elaine, that's what I need you to do. I don't want you to settle for somebody. I want you to be with somebody who makes your heart go boom, 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 boom. If your heart is not going boom, 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 it's not the right person. Don't take one person away to complete it with another person if none of them are actually going to be good. All right. It's really important because that's just going to bring you heartache. It's going to bring you sadness. It's going to bring you unfulfillment. Um, if you're going to have unfulfillment and sadness and everything of the such, you might as well have nobody around and just be happy within yourself. So I'm going to say no. Do I actually see you ending up with John into the future? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I get you wanting to be more mature about yourself, but more mature about yourself, you're already mature. You're already moving on forward. You're already looking for the job, for the position. You're very, very creative. You're looking towards making your future, your life, your desires, your wants. You're already perfect into everything that you're doing. You're focusing onto yourself. You're focusing onto your career at this moment. There's nothing immature into anything that you are doing. The fact of being into a relationship or not does not make you mature. It makes you into a relationship or not. That's it. That's all. Some people stick around in no relationships all their life and they're crazily happy, sweetie pie. 
So my love, John is not the one for you is basically what I'm going to be saying over here. What do I see you doing into the future in terms of both love and career? Love, it's going to take a good year or two before somebody good, strong, positive, who's going to be into your life forever is going to be coming on in. Career-wise, like I said, you're going to be opening on up. You're going to be going into little firms, little places, not big places, little places that are going to be nice, that are going to be cute, that are going to be a little bit more intimate, where you feel more concentrated, more secure, more into a beautiful kind of a place. That's where you need to go. That's where good things are going to be coming towards you. So that's what I'm going to say, my sweet love. This is what I'm seeing. This is what I'm feeling. You're going to be into like a little, I want to say like a little box. In French, we say les petites boîtes. So I really just kind of see you into this little place where it's more intimate, where you are friends with people, everybody gets along, you go on out onto Thursdays or Friday nights, you go out for a drink, you go and eat, you've got beautiful symbiosis energy that is going on through, beautiful creative flows, everybody loves the same type of, and has the same type of passion. And that is going to fuel you guys forward. And as you are feeling more and more secure within yourself and more happy with yourself, that is where you're actually going to end up going to find out your love. May it be a he, may it be a she, may it be it doesn't care. That's where you're going to end up finding who it is that you truly love. And that's how you're going to find yourself also really, really quite happy into your life. That's it. Like a studio, love. So um, that's what I'm seeing towards us, sweetie pie. So John, no. Um, into the future, um, somewhat a little bit like of a studio, a couple of little people kind of working into there. You're moving on forward. You're doing good, but you're focusing more on career than love. Love is going to come on in after the career, and it's okay, my love. It is okay, sweetie pie. Um let me just go see it. Your last question was, I think it was, are you going to be getting married? I think maybe to, what was it? Was that what it is? Let me go and see. Are you going to be getting married or something? Um, I think that's what it was. Anyways, it had to do with John into the, into the long term. I don't see you being married with John into the long term. Okay. Are you going to get married or just live with John? I don't see you living with John. I don't see you getting married with John neither. So I said, don't settle for second place where you can actually get first place, my love. Just give yourself a little bit more time. You will get fulfillment. You will get happiness and you will ultimately get what it is that you desire. So sweet love, John is not your answer. Somebody else is going to be there for you, my love. And why? I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm just saying that like that. I'm not even going to check it on out into the cards, Elaine. But as I said, that John is not going to be good for you. For some reason, I got the name Amanda. I don't know who Amanda is. I don't know who she's going to be and where she's coming on in towards you. But there's somebody important into your life by the name of Amanda who's going to be coming on in. I'm going to say from here to the end of the year. So watch out for an Amanda. She just could be the, the right one for you. Yes. Let me know if there's anything else I can do for you, sweetie. Yes, it was my beautiful magician. It was for both of them. The first one was, are you going to be moving to the Italian um, quartier, if you will? And that was a no. And your daughter is the one who moved there. And then you're wondering if your daughter's energy into your second question was into it. And that I said that your daughter's energy is there, but it is basically your energy that I am seeing at this moment in time. I do feel as though sometimes her energy comes on in my beautiful magician a little bit um, kind of uh, kind of sneaks on in every once in a while because she's a little bit closer to you or you worry about her a little bit more. But other than that, your energy and hers are pretty much distinct. They're not the same. It is my pleasure, my beautiful Elaine. I'm sending you so much love, sweetie pie. Um, Let's go see our beautiful Anna. So Anna, my love, here we go. Um... I know, I kid you not, Carrie. It's very interesting. It's really, 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 really quite weird what you're talking about, my love. It's not normal anyways. Let me put it that way. And not normal. Um, Anna. Anna's going to be at 210. Well, 211. 211 for Anna. Mm-hmm. 
Shay is next, followed up by Amy. If Amy's somewhere around, Amy, please do post your questions unless you sent them to, to my email, which I do not see at this moment. So I'm going to say no towards that. So my beautiful love shine, if you're somewhere around, you can definitely post your questions, my love. Please go ahead with it. For the moment, I'm going to open over here. JT is going to be on up next. So JT is next. For the moment, we are with Anna, and Anna is at 2, 11 and 30 seconds. Um, I will answer in just a moment, Elaine. Just give me one moment, my love. You could probably, though, my beautiful Carrie, reach on towards YouTube to try to figure out what the heck is happening with that, my love. Yeah. Yes, beautiful Amy, love, Sean. If you're somewhere around, post your questions. We are ending the live, and we don't have your questions. Um, yeah, no, I answered that, my beautiful magician. I said you were not moving, my love. You are not moving this year. I did not see you moving, sweetie pie. And I do not see you moving, my beautiful magician, towards the Italian place, neither, my love. Uh, thank you, Elaine. I'll be with you in just a few moments, okay? So, Anna, what is coming towards you, Virgo, for the rest of this week in general? I'm seeing you being into your power. I'm seeing you being really, really, really quite strong. You're worried about something. You're thinking about something from the past. Somebody is not giving you any action. It's like you keep thinking about them. What is going on? Where are they thinking? How are things moving? All these kind of things, but nothing is really quite moving into the way that you would like it to. So I am getting a lot of talk, but no action necessarily. So you're waiting for action coming from somebody that you are just not getting. Um... I'm going to say there's a lot of insecurity, and I'm going to say that you're feeling unfulfilled. So, my love, what is coming towards you for the rest of this week? I need you to be confident. I need you to take this beautiful action towards you, right? Um, Lilith, we have Shay and we have Amy. Shay and Amy, my beautiful Lilith. Um, so, I'm getting a lot of confidence that is popping on through. But I'm getting sadness. I'm getting looking but not finding. I'm getting somebody who is around you. You're waiting for somebody to do something towards you, but they're not doing it in any kind of a way. Yet it's kind of interesting because you are looking towards this person perhaps for some type of security, but they're not giving it to you. So there's a lot of insecurity, yet this person seems to be holding on to you like they don't want to let you go. There's a certain possessiveness that is there. And there's also a wanting to invest but not being able to invest into your relationship therefore bringing i'm going to say underachieving unhappiness altogether so i'm going to say towards you this week i need you to stand your ground i need you to be good i need you to be strong i need you to do as much as you possibly can um i don't see anything bad happening towards you but i don't see anything good or anything strong or anything specific happening towards you i feel like there's a standstill i feel like in your energy you want movement you want changes but i don't see movements and i don't see changes i see stagnation and i see you being kind of disappointed by the stagnation that's happening into your life and i'm not even necessarily talking towards love i'm talking generally speaking you are wanting something more that you are not having at this moment in time that you want, that you're looking for, but it's like you don't always know necessarily how to go and get it or when it's actually going to be coming your way. And it's like people talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, but nobody actually does anything towards it. Nobody actually gives you anything towards it, right? Yes, I know, I know. Um, hold on just one moment. What are Holden's Scorpio's intentions towards you? Let's go and see that. Just one moment. Um, and I'm just going to pause you one second, sweetie. Magician. Um, there's no move towards you, sweetie. You are not moving from here to the end of the year. Some type of shift has happened. I do not see you moving. So I'm going to say if you do end up moving, it's going to be something that's going to be a little bit at the last moment, something that you're going to be finding, that you're going to be seeing, and you're going to be moving towards. But I do not see you moving at this moment. Your daughter has moved, and I see you going to visit her, but I don't see you moving, my sweet love. Let me know if you have any other questions, okay, magician? Just post it, and I shall answer. But fourth movement, I don't see you moving, love. 
Anna, I am back with you. What are Holden Scorpio's intentions towards you? Um, I kind of need you to walk away. I need you to walk away. It's difficult. It's like they don't know what they want. It's like they're trying to awaken. It's like they're trying to be somebody that they're not. It's like they want to try to bring it to the next level, but they're not able to do so. And they know how good you are. They know how down to earth you are. You, they know what you want and what you're looking for. But it's like they're not able to give it to you. And so there's like a transition. I'm going to say, my love, I don't really feel as though anything is going to be happening within this. I don't. Um, I will take more cards on out. But I feel as though we're a little bit stuck into a place of stagnation. Nothing is happening. Nothing is opening on through. They're very, very independent. And they're keeping their boundaries. They're having their own, if you will, independence. They don't have the strength to move on forward into this relationship. And ultimately, they're afraid. My beautiful Anna, let me know if you pop on in, if there's anything else that you want to know. I'm going to say the intentions towards you at this moment in time. Um, I'm getting that we care for you. I'm getting that we're interested in you. But I'm getting that we're also afraid of moving on forward because I feel as though you want more of a stability than what Holden actually wants. Holden is not really ready for anything. Um, Elaine, I'm with Anna, love. Holden is not ready for anything. Holden is not moving on forward into a stable relationship. Holden is still a little bit kind of up there into the whole world, but not ready for anything. So I'm going to say, if you do want to have a relationship with Holden, you're going to have to take it step by step. Don't hold on too strongly because Holden is not ready to offer you a relationship. But Holden is highly interested in you. But I feel as though Holden kind of feels bad because Holden believes that he knows that you want a committed relationship and that he can't offer that towards you. So sometimes he kind of pulls his energy on back. Sending you much love, my beautiful honest lady. Um, Elaine, who is watching you right now? Your dog, your dad, your grandpa, they're all up there, right? Uh, hold on, Elaine. Hold on, sweetie. Um, I'm going to go and see Shay right after and, um, still looking for love shine wherever you're at, my love. Your dad is watching over you. Your, your dog is there too. Um, I'm going to say your dad and your dog, they're both watching over you, sweetie, but your dad predominantly, um, your dog spirit is there. It's, it's like, he's giving you a lot of love. It's like, he's giving you a lot of care, a lot of attention, like beautiful vibes, but your dad is standing strong into his position. Like he wants to offer you advice. Like he wants to assist you because he wants you to succeed. what I'm getting my love um Shay sweetie here we go it is your turn my love thank you for waiting so very patiently sweetie um yes my beautiful magician I did I did and I did sweetie pie yes but my beautiful magician, things do change. Energies do change. You might end up, it's my pleasure, my beautiful Elaine. You might actually end up, my beautiful magician, moving. You might. Um, but I don't see it today. Today, as we are speaking, I don't see you moving, my love. Um, I, you know, relationship-wise... We did not look into the relationship wise. We're looking towards the um, the housing. And I'm going to say, I don't see you moving at this moment in time, my sweet love. So um, 
it's not up to me. I don't decide it. Um, it's movements that you do. It's movements that other people do um, that kind of come into the way. But I'm going to say, my beautiful magician, I have no control of that. I tell you what I see. I tell you the energy shifts and whatever happens kind of happens. But I can't control it, my love. I don't see you moving at this point in time. You asked me if you were going to be moving to the Italian um if you want um, a part of the town, I don't see you moving there. I don't. I don't see you moving at this point in time. Perhaps when you find a place, perhaps if you look more, perhaps if you look in different districts, uh, perhaps different circumstances will come on in and will change things, but I have no control over that. I simply tell you what I can see. As for love, well, you still have somebody who is holding on to you that you don't want, uh, but they're not necessarily letting go of you. Um, as for love, again, sweetie pie, um, I don't control who comes towards you. I don't control the actions that you do neither or that anybody else does around. It's not just about you. It's surrounding people that are around you also. If the person that you're supposed to meet does something different, it switches up the vibes. If somebody does different towards somebody that you're supposed to meet, it could switch up the vibes too. So that's why I do not go further usually than like six months because even within one single day, you could have a complete turn of table where everything changes, my beautiful magician. Uh, you might, Elaine, you might. I see an Amanda, my love. Um, I'm not going to say you're always going to be my beautiful Elaine with an Amanda, but I see an Amanda that is popping on through. So that's what I see, my love. And I feel as though sometimes you kind of distract yourself and try to kind of move on forward a little bit more towards the man. But honestly, myself, my beautiful Elaine, I feel like you're more comfortable with a lady than you are with a man. And I see an Amanda who seems to be important coming on in towards you. So um, we're going to have to see when this person's going to come on through. Magician, if you have any other questions or anything else, please do let me know. Okay, sweetie pie. I'm going to go and see Shay, and um, I'm going to be looking also. I'm still looking for a beautiful love shine. I'm going to go and see if maybe she sent something into my email. Okay, I don't at this moment. Um, Okay, so I don't have anything over there. I'm going to go on Shay. So love. How does Leo's energy towards you? Well, let's go and see that, sweetie pie. It is my pleasure, my beautiful Lane, sweetie. Okay, well, I don't see you moving to an Italian neighborhood, my beautiful magician. But I don't see you moving at this moment, neither, my love. A good night, my beautiful Elaine, sweetie pie. Take care of yourself, okay? Keep your energy nice and high, and always believe you are beautiful, you are creative, and you are perfect just the way you are, Elaine. So here we go, and let's go and see for Shay. How, what are we getting into Leo's energy towards you? Why do I see delays? Why, why do I see possessiveness and confidence? Possessiveness. It's like you guys are both on different kind of... It's like you're both on different kind of places. Um, Leo has to release some fear, sweetie. Yes, Leo has to release some fear. Mm-hmm. Um... We're looking towards more optimism. We're looking towards changes. So hold on, hold on. Um, hold on, my beautiful Shay. Just one moment, sweetie pie. Does this making any sense towards you? Um, hold on. Hold on, my beautiful Shai. I'm just going to answer something to Magician over here. Magician, I'm just going with the first mail that you sent me. You said, are you going to be moving in 2024? What's your energy? 
because last year a reader told you that you would be moving to an Italian neighborhood and your oldest just moved there. And you're wondering, was it her or you that she actually saw moving or both? And this is why I'm saying, I believe that she saw your daughter, but confused your energy because I don't see you moving there, my sweet love. And I do not see you at this moment actually moving this year. That's where I think that's, that's, that's what I've got. I don't, that's what you wrote. That's what I've answered. Um, so that's it because you opened up the possibility to say that maybe both of you guys could be moving there. And I'm saying you're not moving there, my beautiful magician. You're not going to an Italian um, neighborhood. That being said, what I'm going to say over here for you, my beautiful Shay, why am I getting a recovery? What has happened between you guys? Are you like into like a no contact or somewhat of a break or somewhat of a pause? Because I'm seeing at this moment in time that uh, there is something that's kind of stopping you guys. There's something that is blocking over here. Why is it blocked, my love? What is happening within that? Are you guys in contact at this moment in time, sweetie pie? All right. And that's it. You're in no contact. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Okay. Thank you. It makes sense. That's what I was wondering, my love. I just want to validate. Um, so there's delays. We're kind of feeling like we're a little bit impatient at this moment in time. I'm getting that you still have like some wants and desires, maybe a little bit of confidence that something that could be happening over here. Um, and it was two weeks ago. Yeah, that's it. But he still, this person is still holding on to you, sweetie. They're still holding on to you. They're still wondering about you. They have not let you go. So their energy is still there, um, but they're afraid. Their main problem is what I'm going to say over here is this. Um, Okay, what I'm basically going to say over here is the following. Magician, please do post your question the way that you want me to answer it, and I shall answer it, love. Please do post it into the chat, and I shall answer it. Thank you, sweetie. Um, as for my beautiful Shay, what I'm going to say towards you is the following. Your person over here has a need, I'm going to say, to release fear. They are afraid. I'm going to say not only are they afraid, but I'm also going to have to say that I feel like there are things that they want to say towards you that they have not said, but they feel that they should say. What they really want you to know is that at this moment in time, they're looking towards recovery. They're looking towards feeling better, feeling stronger, gaining their energy on back. Is this person ready to return into a relationship? They're not. If they've been hurt, they're feeling a little bit lost. They don't know where to go. They don't know what to do. And they know that by returning into the relationship might not be the best place to be into. They feel like they need to work onto themselves before going back into that beautiful place with you. They're not excluding that they're not going to be coming on back towards you, but they're not including it neither. At this moment in time, it's a little bit of a yes and it's a little bit of a no. We still hold on to you. We still care about you. I'm going to say we still love you. But we're not ready to return back into circumstances or into a relationship that was no longer good at that moment in time. We do not yet have the solutions on how to make things better if things could be made better. And because we do not have those solutions, we're a little bit on pause. So what I would actually say towards you at this moment was, is this right? Um, this is what I'm going to say. What I really, really need you to do is the following. It's not bad. No, what he actually has to say is not bad. Really, I feel as though what your person really wants you to know is that they still love you. They still care for you, but they're lost. They're lost and they need to find themselves. To find themselves, it's going to take time. Are you willing to give them that time? And this is what I'm going to say. Maybe a good solution for you could say, why don't we give ourselves two, three weeks, add on to a specific day, 
you decide to meet on up or to talk to each other onto the phone and to come up with the answer to the relationship. Do we continue no longer seeing each other? Do we try to make things better? If we try to make things better, how do we make things better? What's the solutions? What's the plans? Um, do you go and get some help? Um, do you try to reconnect? What do you do? But I feel as though for these two to three weeks, what you guys should both be doing onto your own sides with no contact whatsoever for those two, three weeks is figuring out what do you want from this relationship? What does he want from this relationship? What is the goal? And then when you guys speak to each other, figure out if your goal aligns with one another. If your goal is the same, perfect. Move on forward with your solutions to fix whatever was not going well. But if your goals do not align at that point in time, if he says, I want to continue on to my own path for a little bit, and that's not good for you, then you know that you'll have to release him. But at this moment in time, he still loves you. He has not let go of you. He doesn't want to let go of you, but he doesn't know how to make things better. In order to make things better, he needs to find himself. To find himself, he needs more time. So we need to leave him that time. Um, but I don't really like leaving time open like that with no deadlines because then we often kind of forget. We end up doing other things and then nobody's really happy. So what I will say is the following. Maybe contact, send a message on out saying, I know we did not have the best conversation last time. I do want to try to mend things. I do want to try to understand. Let's give each other a certain break. Let's try to figure out things, write things down. Let's exchange it into a couple of weeks and see where we go from there. No great expectations, no downfalls. This is it. Whatever happens from his messages and your messages will have to be decided between both of you guys because at this moment, he still loves you, doesn't want to let go of you. You still love him. You don't want to let go of him, but he's not ready to come on back. You're not reaching out. He will come to you. I don't know if he'll come to you. Let me go and see. Okay, hold on. Um, so will he come to you? Here we go. What I'm going to say over here is the following. Okay. Is he going to be coming on back towards you? From what I can see at this moment, I do see somewhat of an offer that is given towards you. But I do see some fear and I do feel like we are a little bit stuck. You're a little bit playing with like a poker game over here, my love. You can decide to throw those dice up, right? And say, okay, let's go on forward with it. Like you could decide to wait. I will say, don't wait. Don't wait. I don't like to wait. Don't wait upon somebody else to do something when you can do it yourself. So it's better for you to get the clarity than to kind of struggle and wonder, right? So maybe just let him know, give him a certain time frame. Let me know what you want. Let me know what you're thinking about. Let me know if we could meet on up and think about this and talk about this um, or if we should simply let things go. What I'm going to say towards you today is he is not ready to let you go. He still loves you, still holds on to you, but he's not ready to be back into the relationship. So you guys are going to have to find somewhere in between where you can construct and work this relationship so he can come back in, my love. I'm sending you much love, sweetie pie. Um, we do not have Amy. So Amy, I guess, is going to be going to tomorrow. Magician, please listen carefully, sweetie, okay? I'm going to say the same thing that I said um, about 10 minutes ago. I'm going to read what you said. When you first came to my channel, you asked if you would move in 2024, and I said yes. And you asked, are you going to be in a serious relationship? I said yes. You're right. But energy changes, magician. It changes all times. All right, my love. Um, you could go to any reader, and it is what it is. You could go to somebody else and they could lie to you. I could lie to you tonight and I could say, absolutely, you're going to be moving and you are going to be into a new relationship, but I don't see it anymore. So I'm not going to lie to you. I saw it. It was there, 
but I no longer see it. So I will not lie towards you, my love. That being said, I told you what I saw. Um, I'm going to say towards you, if you want to be into a relationship, you've got to go out, you've got to take action because I don't see somebody coming towards you out of the blue. As for moving, I do not see you moving at this moment in time. So I'm going to say no. Let's forget about what you were asking about the Italian. Your daughter moved. Perfect. You're not moving. I do not see you moving at this time period. That being said, you could change things up. You could decide tomorrow, like I could decide, I'm going to sell my house. I put a sell for sale sign in front of my house because, I don't know, I saw something fantastic that's being built and I want to move over there. Energies change. People change change situations change not just because of you but because of surrounding people also therefore my beautiful magician what i said at that point in time was true what i'm saying now is what i'm seeing i am not going to lie to you i'm not going to tell you somebody's going to be coming on in and they're going to be upset at me because you're going to say but you said somebody was coming on in i did say that but i don't see them anymore so i'm going to say be careful my love what I say is what I say is what I see. I don't play games with anybody, sweetie pie. Um, I hope for you that if you want to move, that you will move. If you take the actions towards it, you'll be able to move. I hope for you that you will find love. I don't see love coming towards you. If you take action towards it, and I did mention to the past, for you to have love coming on in, you're going to have to take action towards it. Let me know if you have any other questions, magician. I don't know how to explain it into a different kind of way, sweetie. Life is about energies. Energies change. People change. Situations change. Circumstances change. Nothing is stagnant. Let's go see Watson. Sweetie pie. Here we go. How are you doing, sweetie? I had a pretty good day. Thank you, my dear Watson. Um... Okay, so Hanson, my love, will you feel better still doing your daily stretches and exercise, right? It's almost completely healed. Yay, but it's been like a whole month. Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing. Um, that's it, right? And you're bored at home and your parents or sisters said their boyfriend are around. <laughs> I know you want to see Elizabeth. Oh... Okay, so let's go see what I've got. my love if you do want to come on back tomorrow sweetie we have been closed for about 45 minutes now so if you do want to come on back tomorrow please do so my love what i will say over here for you sweetie well is the following um my dear Hanson, are you gonna be okay yes would it be still be better for you for some reason i'm seeing like number two i feel like two weeks would be better for you more than anything else I feel like you'd be able to get your answers. I feel like you'd be able to feel stronger. You would be feeling just really better into yourself altogether, my love. So I'm going to say two weeks would really, really just be like the ultimate best altogether. Um, but I do know that you do have to go back. So I'm going to say that everything is going to be okay, sweetie pie. Now, I kind of feel like in bonus, you are going to be able to see your beautiful love. So for that, I'm going to say it is perfect. Um... Thank you, my dear Adam, love. Uh, 
I feel like your week is going to be okay. Um, I actually do feel like whenever you do go back to work, though, that you are going to be busy. I do see that. So, business, I shall say, you will be busy. Um, all right, my beautiful Carrie, sweetie. Sending you much love, beautiful. So let's go and figure out what we've got coming on through. Knight of Swords, getting over here. Knight of Pentacles, our beautiful devil. Oh my God. You are going to be seeing your sweetie pie. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Um, so yeah, you will be seeing your sweetie pie. You will be happy. But I don't necessarily feel, I feel like it's going to be a little bit disappointing because I don't feel like you're actually going to be able to speak with her all that much it might be like a little bit of a hello but nothing much more so she's gonna be happy to actually see you to see that you're there see that you're okay still that you see that you're still working there have that beautiful energy of yours around have a little bit of a fusion between yours and hers but at least it's going to kind of pep up everything everything is going to make a little bit more sense we're not going to have as many fears or as many sadnesses sadnesses can you even say sadnesses we're not going to have as many disappointments is what i truly want to say um oops Mm. Okay, hold on. Okay. Elizabeth today is actually doing pretty good, I'm going to say. I'm going to say don't worry about it, my love. Um, my Ten of Pentacles coming on through also, followed out by our Two of Cups and getting our Three of Wands. So, sweet love, this is what I'm going to say. She's doing fairly good. I feel as though she's happy. Is she necessarily into the place where she wants to be? Is she into the ultimate i'm gonna say is she fulfilling every single one of her desires in every single way mm, i'm gonna say no but i am gonna say that she's missing you i'm gonna say that she's gonna be happy to see you and you're just gonna be that beautiful element of surprise when she sees you onto that day because she's been worried she's been worried this has been going on for quite some time love she's worried about you Let's go and give you some angel messages. Oh, I don't know, Carrie. I got you, sweetie. There's crazy energy going around, Carrie. Crazy energy. Oh, talking about crazy energy. 1717. A drama, drama alert. Take a few deep breaths and focus inward. You need time to think things over. I know, seriously, Carrie, that was just kind of crazy to that's it, right? Um, um Uh, just one second, Juanson. Okay. You are right, my love. It's kind of cuckoo. It is. I feel like it's a non-accepting, um, I'm going to say, of... Um, Just one second. Oh, 
Okay. I've got you. It wasn't the arrow carry. So 17, 17. Take a few deep breaths. Focus inward. You need time to think things over and consider your options. At this time, you have to rely onto yourself. This is about believing it. It's about heading towards into the right direction. And what appears to be lull in activity is a little bit of part of the beautiful process altogether. Exactly, my beautiful Carrie. If you do nothing, nothing shall happen towards you. That's it. And that's all. So, but that's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. We can't do anything towards it, my beautiful Carrie. Now, can we? Um, exactly. You're not waiting for the passport to arrive at your door and for a plane ticket to arrive now, are you, Carrie? All right, let's go see the books. Let's go see the books. Exactly, Carrie. And everybody who does things around you changes things also, right? It does. Oh, no, that is sweet. That is golden. So are you, my beautiful Carrie. You are so very loved. Carrie's such a sweetie pie. Um, let me know whenever you are ready, my love. Let me know and I shall be with you. I'm going to go and put this one over here. Exactly, Carrie. Free will. It is true, Carrie. I mean it, sweetie. I'm wondering where Quanson is. I don't know where he's at. Is he still there? Did he, like, log off or something? I don't know. And I don't, I don't know what happened to Diane and Sean neither. <laughs> I don't know what kind of night this is. Oh, my God. I'm going to go and write to Diane and Sean and figure out what happened with them. Okay, Hanson, I don't know where the heck you are. I'm going to go and see. I read a book. It seems assured, sweetie. It seems assured. I don't know. I've got YouTube doing weird things, telling me there's like no viewers. Yeah, it's strange. It's very strange. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Everything is weird. It tells me there's nobody. Now it tells me there's three. I, I don't know. Um. Okay. Let's go and see for the black book. It, it is. It is. The devil. The answer is no. Ask again later if you're able to express all of who you are. Seriously. I'm going to go and figure out what's happening with everybody. And I'm going to send out some messages over here also. Sometimes I feel as though I am worthy of your love. I am coming back soon. Please do be prepared. My love for you grows stronger every time. You do something for yourself. Your energy feels so very familiar towards me. And I want you to know that my heart feels so very heavy at this moment. My beautiful loves, I'm going to say sweet dreams. I'm going to go and figure out what happened with Diane and Sean, that they disappeared. I'm going to go and see all these things. And um, I will say, love you guys. Thank you for being here. It's been a little bit chaotic, but it's all good. Um, we'll see each other tomorrow. Beautiful new energy, beautiful day. Stay strong. And as usual, love you guys. I have, oh, I, it's crazy, Lilith. I don't know. I don't know. You say period, I think menstruation. But I know what you're talking about, shadow period. I don't know. It's bad. It's bad. Whatever it is, it's bad. I don't want it. I get, let's get rid of it, like, right here, right now. It's nasty. Um, alrighty, so here we go, love. Um, 
let's see each other tomorrow, same time, same place, and let's have each other the most, like, beautiful day tomorrow. Good night, sweetie pies. Oh, I can't wait for it to end. It sucks.